We're going to begin our recording, as always, with a congregational song. We're going to ask everybody to stand and sing to the glory of God. Uh, Sister, I do believe, Sister Jones, will lead us off in the song.
Teacher, guide, and general overseer. Nos sent salutation to nos auditeurs francophones au nom de Jésus Christ. Nous sommes la vérité de Dieu, programme radiophonique avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Saludos a todos nuestros. Radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de Jesucristo. Este es el programa radial. Vida de Dios con el pastor Gino Jennings. Bow with us. Bow with us as Minister Clyde Campbell of Mobile, Alabama, will now lead us in prayer. Let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, asking you, O oh Father, to have mercy upon us, O oh God. Lord God, thanking you for the former apostles and prophets that were before us. O oh Father God, giving double honor, Lord God, to the apostle and prophet that's here. Thanking you, Lord God, for the man of God, Pastor Jenny, O oh God. Lord God, we're asking you, Lord God, to let this broadcast go out and reach men, women, children. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O oh, Father God, we ask you to help them, Lord God, that they examine themselves according to what's being preached. In the name of the Lord Jesus. O oh, Father God, help them, Lord God, that seek, Lord God, your face, O oh God. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for helping us examine ourselves. Oh, Father God, that we'll be with you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we come, Lord God, asking you, oh God. Lord God, go in prisons, oh God. Go in churches, oh God. Lord God, the word of God, Lord God, that will save people, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we're asking you, Lord God. Lord God, to break every ban, every wicked, every yoke that's upon your people, oh God. Lord God, that they can serve you, Lord God, in the holiness of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we come, Lord God, asking you, Lord God, to bless Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we ask you, Lord God, to forgive us, oh God. Lord God, for our shortcomings, oh God. Lord God, we ask you to build us up, oh God. Strengthen us where we're weak at, oh God. Lord God, that we see your face in peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we ask you to let the word go forth, oh God. Lord God, that people can judge themselves by. Oh, Father God, that they'll see your face in peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we ask this prayer tonight, Lord God. Lord God, that you touch souls everywhere. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we ask you, Lord God, have mercy, oh God. Have mercy upon your people, oh God. Lord God, we thank you for this year, Lord God. Oh, Father God, we thank you for letting us be alive, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, help us, oh God. Help us to hear your word, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, that we apply your word to our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, be blessing in all we ask in your name. And the church say, Amen. For those joining again, uh, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. Uh, this is a pre-recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. You're also witnessing uh, the concluding services for the year 2007. Uh, this recording being made on the afternoon or the evening of uh, December the 31st, the year 2007. Accordingly, we're going to ask uh, one of our brothers to come forth, uh, Brother Jamie Williams of New Jersey, to render a selection onto us entitled, There's Not a Friend. Greetings. How many in here ever had a so-called friend that has let you down? But I know a friend. His name is Jesus. Will never let you down. Never. There's 
not a friend like the long Jesus no not one yeah. no not one none else can heal all of my soul diseases no, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about my struggle. Guide us unto the day he is done. Then, yes, there's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. Guide us unto the day he is done. Oh, 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 that's not a friend like, like the lonely, like the lonely Jesus. I said no, not one, no, not one. Jesus knows, I said Jesus knows all about your struggles and he will guide us oh he will guide us until the day he is done there not afraid not alone Lord I said no, 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 not one, not one. Again, if you just join us, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, uh, pre-recorded today or tonight, coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where our Pastor Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer, you're also witnessing 
and listening to uh, the final services that were recorded on the evening of December the 31st, the year 2007. It's our New Year's Eve service being recorded on the evening of uh, December the 31st, the year 2007. Now you can write or email us for any of the following, a current list of all our radio and television stations, uh, for a list of our church locations both within and outside the United States, uh, a list of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings, and the church's magazine called the Truth of God Journal. The Truth of God Journal is the fourth edition that's available for 10 US dollars. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five US dollars. We do also have DVDs and CDs available of our broadcasts. However, for them, when you're writing to request copies of our program, we do always ask that you indicate the program number very clearly, uh, very clearly in your correspondence to us. Now, today's or tonight's program number is 782. Once again, if uh, you wish to uh, receive a, a copy of tonight's uh, program, uh, the number is 782. Now, if you desire to have the gospel preach in your area in person by Pastor Jennings, or have questions regarding this program or simply regarding the scriptures, again, you may address all your correspondence to Pastor Gino Jennings. That's Pastor Gino Jennings, First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, our post office box address is P.O. Box 7745, P.O. Box 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. Once again, send your correspondence to Pastor Jennings at P.O. Box 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. Uh, if you also desire, you can uh, quickly uh, pick up the phone and give us a toll-free call. Our phone number is one 800 one eight eight eight. I beg your pardon. Two three one two two zero one. Once again, toll free. One eight 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 two three one two two zero one. I would also like you to go to the internet and uh, visit our website. Our website can be found at www.truthofgod.com. Again, go to the internet. Visit us on the web. Uh, www.truthofgod.com is our website address. We'd also like to hear from you by way of email. If you can, uh, spend some time or take a few moments to send us a short email. Our email address is truthofgod at errols.com. Truthofgod at errols.com. And you should see that information as well as the address and our phone number on screen uh, throughout uh, the course of the program. Also, I'd like to say a few quick words to our Spanish-speaking listeners. Saludos a todos nuestros radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de Jesucristo. Cristo. Este es el programa radial Verdad de Dios con el pastor Gino Jennings. Esta transmisión llega, llega a ustedes de la primera iglesia de nuestro, de Señor Jesucristo, Cristo, localizada en el 2431 de la avenida Frankfurt en Filadelfia, Pennsylvania, 19125 en los Estados Unidos de América. El plan verdadero de Dios para nuestra salvación requiere que usted se arrepienta y sea bautizado en el agua en el nombre de Jesucristo para el perdón de sus pecados y, y reciba el don del Espíritu Santo, según lo dice la Biblia. Le invitamos a que nos escriba y solicite los siguientes folletos bíblicos gratis titulados Han sido usted de nuevo. Mujeres predicadoras y Jesucristo es Dios Todopoderoso. Una vez más, nuestra dirección es Primera Iglesia de Nuestro, de Señor Jesucristo, localizada en el 2431 Avenida Frankfurt, en Filadelfia, Pennsylvania, 19125, al cuidado de Pastor Gino Jennings en los Estados Unidos de América. Que Dios les bendiga. Esperamos que nos escriban pronto. That's to our Spanish speaking listeners once again. Just like to remind you that you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program pre-recorded today coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> our location, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, right here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. I now present on to our leader, teacher guide. He's the messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters, friends, and to my many enemies. We are grateful again and certainly are thankful to the one God for blessing us to be back to call your attention to you that are here and to our 
television viewers and radio listeners to what is written in the book of scriptures. We thank him moreover for the prophets and we thank him for the knowledge and the revelation and the wisdom that he had given to his servants, the apostles. Amen. Most of all, we thank him for the way of holiness that he seen fit to reveal to his servants and then give them the divine ability to teach. You know, when God brings something, he want it taught to the people. You don't just drop something in your lap and then leave it to you to try to figure it out. That's right. He send men to teach you. Mm -hmm. Television viewers, well, we're at the close of another year. Another year. And we have a lot to thank God for, don't we? Amen. Amen. God of heaven. Without question, the God of heaven, he has certainly been good to us. Amen. We're still in the land of the living. Yeah. Thank God. Most of all, we're still in the truth. Yeah, that's right. Thank God. That's a blessing. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> not in and out, not church hopping, mm -hmm. right. not religious hopping. Because when God come, I want him to find me so doing. So doing. Yes. And this is what we are laboring for, that we may be ready to meet the master of the day of judgment. Amen. <clears throat> it is that day that most people don't consider, don't think about. That's right. Uh, until most get on their deathbed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some folk don't think about it then. But as we go into 2008, we bear witness uh, the same, that there is no God but one. Amen. It won't change as the time change. He still will be one. Will be one. <laughs> That's right. Viewer, there is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God before him. Amen. We associate none with the Almighty. Amen. He have no partners. No. Mm -hmm. He's not sharing his power with the little God. No, he won't do that. No, he won't do that. No. For all the power is his. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And as you can see, as we said in our last telecast, mm -hmm. that the world, they have declined, and they're certainly neglecting giving God service. Amen. They don't mind serving themselves, though. Amen. Amen. But they don't want to give God what's due him. Television viewers, we're thankful, moreover, how God have made it possible for us to talk to you. That's right. <clears throat> we're not a multi-million dollar operation. No, we're not the jakes and the snakes <laughs> and the dollars and the nickels. That's right. No, we're a grassroots program. Scorch earth. Amen. And because we do it right here from the ground, we shoot you from the ground and drop it from the air. Yeah. So we are very thankful that God has seen fit to take something so magnificent as his divine truth and open up our understanding to this truth <clears throat> that we may convey it to you. Amen. Uh, one email came in, somebody wrote us and... <laughs> Ask me, where in the world you get your information from? I have the best teacher. I know that's hard for some of you to believe, but I have never been to a biblical institution in my life. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they don't have what I need. No. no. It's not a Bible school in the world that have what I need. That's right. If I'm looking for prestige, they can offer me that. <clears throat> if I'm looking for having a bunch of letters behind my name like a human thermometer with the PhD and the DD and the what else, well, perhaps they can give me that. But if I want to meet God in peace and enter into his rest, there's not a seminary school in the world that can supply me with the right information to meet God. That's right. And that's something to think about. 
School is not designed to make you spiritual. No. no. School don't make preachers. That's right. It takes God to make preachers. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm thankful that I was one of the ones that he chose to make. Viewer, yeah. I know some of you don't believe it, and I can live with that, but as 2007 go and 2008 come in, and it will, mm -hmm. Tony, how do you know? Uh, it's coming. <laughs> well, the Lord going to come, yes, but he's not coming 2008. No. Oh, my God, the man is crazy. <laughs> Bible saying no man know the day or the hour. I agree with all that. Yeah. I don't have no problem with teaching that. That's mm -hmm. right. But because of the scriptures, mm -hmm. I know he's not coming 2008. No way. No. No, no. Because the scripture teaches us before his arrival, there must first be great, great falling away. a great falling away. Falling away. Yeah. And the falling away happened gradually. Mm -hmm. What is the Greek falling away? Many men and women mm -hmm. that have once tasted this heavenly gift yeah. commit treason. Yeah. Turn their back on God. <clears throat> Reject him. Yes, Denounce him. Yes, Someone said, well, I didn't denounce God. You can denounce God with deed. That's right. Yes. That's right. Oh, yeah. Without even opening your mouth, you can denounce God. That's right. We are holding the same standard in 2008 that we held in 2007. Amen. Amen. We're not changing. Amen. Not at all. We're not trying to make friends with false prophets. That's right. I refuse to bow to compromise. Amen. To fellowship with anybody that don't want to fellowship with God. That's it. Amen. We don't went past the singing and the shouting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We know the most important part of worship or the center of worship or the nucleus of worship mm -hmm. is the message. That's right. If the message is wrong, the people come out wrong. That's right. Amen. That's right, Bob. Oh, yeah. I done stopped going to churches to see my friends. Yeah. yeah. I stopped that. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's, that's past, that's past behavior. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I stop you invite me to your church and I invite you to mine. I stop that. Stop that. Amen. Getting up in the devil's church and pick up the wrong spirit. That's, that's right. right. Oh yes, sir. Jesus said, "If you love me, yeah. you'll keep my commandments." Amen. Amen. So I don't want to go into 2008 <coughs> uncertain, mm -hmm. questioning. Whether this is true or not. That's right. That's right. That's right. Viewers, this is the condition. Because of your exposure mm -hmm. to the truth of God, That's right. now you're questioning oh, yeah. is what you believe true or not. Mm -hmm. Someone emailed me and asked me and told me, listen, I need to know the truth. What day should we wish up God? Every day. 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 I want to say, what about the Sabbath? That's all right. That's every day. We understand that. That's every day, too. That's right. Yeah. Right. Oh. I want to say, do you believe in the Sabbath day? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We keep it every day. That's right. Every day. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Someone said, you keep it? Yes. Oh, That's right. I have to. I have to keep it today. I'm not keeping it under the shadow. No. no. All right. But when it was given under the shadow, it was simply a shadow of good things. To come. That's right. And when the good thing came here, he said, Lo, I come. Yeah. In the volume of the book, because it's written of me to do thine will of God. Oh, God. So as you try to do the Sabbath in the days of Musa or Moses, mm -hmm. you couldn't do no work naturally. Right. Now, one and greater than Moses come on the scene, and him mm -hmm. and the disciples pluck ears on the Sabbath day, letting me know I can work. Right. That's right. On that day. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Too. But he come and establish a New Testament Sabbath. That's right. A new form of rest. That's right. It's a more difficult kind of rest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's better for you, mm -hmm. but it's more difficult. Oh, yeah. See, if I had to do the Sabbath like Moses Day, well, it would be somewhat less complicated. Mm -hmm. 
one day. Imagine that just one day. But now you got the rest, not from your job, but from the works of flesh. Believe me, you'll put in overtime and exhaust yourself. And still got to come back and ask, God, give me grace. So now your Sabbath got to be every day now. Every day. Because he declared he's the Lord of the Sabbath. That's right. So viewers, we're glad to come back in your homes. Get set tight. We're going to get some letters out the way. I guess the final letters of 2007. We have hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds. He's not going to read hundreds now. <laughs> but let me say to the viewers, I want to thank all of you that have wrote us from around the world. I can never thank you enough for your letters. It shows us what the program is doing for you and what the program is doing to you. That's right. What I mean by doing to you, I want to thank uh, many of you that have called in and out of the depths of your heart and your love for the truth, you cussed me out. <laughs> I'm grateful uh, because you tune in every week that it may give you more fuel to call back and cuss me out some more. Amen. See, just like you need us, we need you. Amen. Certainly. Oh yeah. I need to know what the word is doing to you. And to you that write in whom the word have opened their eyes and have changed your heart. Yeah. When I was in Jamaica, so many told me they stopped going to church. Amen. Throughout America, so many have stopped going to church. Uh, before I Dan get the letters, in fact, there's a news article I wanted to bring out here. I have Benny Hinn on the front page. Mm. And it's showing how the government is cracking down <laughs> on these big time television hustlers. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, I've been telling you, I've been telling you viewers, you've been getting upset with me trying to fight with the uh, church street hustlers. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've been telling you moreover, the government is cracking down on these hustlers who hustle dollars in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, it is written, what would a man give in exchange for the soul? Amen. And as you can see, brothers and sisters, the churches have abandoned God. They have abandoned the words of God until now men have selective passage of scripture. That's right. And the passage of scriptures that the TV preachers select, none of them offends the flesh. That's right. None of them. None of them is against the will of the flesh. The scriptures that they use work in favor of what you want. Yeah. That's right. And what do the world want? Money. Money. That's right. <laughs> they want money. Oh, yeah. So, brothers and sisters, if you want to be saved, television viewer, if you tune in for the first time, don't make it your last. Yeah. This is the program that you did not run upon by mistake. Amen. Look at me good. Amen. Yes, I'm talking to you. You. Don't stand there and look at me. Don't look around your room. <clears throat> I'm talking to you. Amen. You didn't run up on this by mistake. No. It is God will. Because God don't want you to go to hell. Right. You sitting there now and looking at me. You just cracked open your first can of beer. <laughs> Jess was turning to the television. You done turned to the television. You done seen the Green Bay Packers. You done turned from the Boston Celtics. And you done turned from your hockey game. You done turned from your pay per view. Just flipping. Flipping. And you're looking at this fella. And you're trying to, well, what, what kind of program is that? It's the life saving program. That's right. It'll save your life. No hype. No hype, no gimmicks. No, no, no. Nothing but pure scripture. Yeah. That's right. The truth of God is the message from God for you. Yeah. It's not the message that comes from me. No. Right. This thing comes from, from God. Why? God don't want you to go to hell because you're on your way. On your way. Right. By the time you hear this program, 2008, God willing, will be here. That's right. <coughs> what did you do? You drunk the new year, new one old year out and drunk the new year in. Yeah. 
drinking, yeah. partying, right. shooting fireworks and firecrackers. No change, no change, no change in your life. Right. You've been doing the same thing since you've been going to school. Amen. Now you're a grown man. You've been gay in high school and now you're a grown man and still from Flower Town. Amen. <laughs> still happy. Amen. You know, I'm glad <coughs> at 44 years old, I'm still sticking with God as a young man. Being offered almost everything. Been offered millions of dollars. I've been offered that. Mm -hmm. I want to say you don't know what it's like. Don't tell me nothing. I've been offered that. I've been offered to be a millionaire before I got out of high school. Mm -hmm. But God had me already and I had him. Yeah. And to me, he was more important That's right. than being a millionaire. That's right. That's right. Because if making money is going to cause you to sell out on God, I'd rather be poor and broke and saved right. than be wealthy and burning in hell. Amen. Now, viewers, it's up to you now. One old time preacher used to say, you're the boss. It's up to you. It's your life. You decide what you're going to do with it. You that are here. You decide what you're going to do with your life. You either will save it or damn it. That's right. <clears throat> All right, we're going to get some letters. And uh, also, let me make this announcement. <coughs> Thanks, brother. Uh, there have been so many of you, and I do mean many, and so many I can't count, that have been writing in for the new book of scriptures. And, of course, they're sold out. But uh, some more is being printed up. And when, it, when it's available, believe me, we'll let you know, especially to my viewers throughout Jamaica. When I was in Kingston, Jamaica, oh my God, it seemed like everything wanted the scriptures. Yeah. Because people's eyes are coming open. That's right. Their eyes are coming open. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of ridicule <laughs> from so-called preachers and slap-happy reverends. Amen. And men that have studied or that are students of philosophy and various forms of theology. Yeah. Criticizing me for, from using the scriptures. Well, let me give you some knowledge. Criticizing me will not make me lose sleep. No. <laughs> Glory <laughs> take God. Right. We're still going to preach what's written. That's right. That's right. Jesus plainly said, preach the word. Preach the That's word. it. That's right. That one said, the apostles said it. No, Jesus said it. Jesus said that. They were simply used to rehearse it. That's right. The book says, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, then was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. So, uh, once some more is printed, we'll let you know, brothers and sisters, and we'll let you know they are available. All right, Dan the man, uh, let's get busy and get ready to go to work. We thank God for all of you that are here. Just think of it. Usually this time of year, uh, before you wake up to walk with God, you, you wouldn't be in church, would you? No uh, talk to me, folks. You wouldn't be in church. You'd be somewhere partying and <clears throat> dancing, yes. hip hop and bebop and flippity flop, and <clears throat> somewhere smoking weed. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Somewhere uh, passing around, you know, a bottle of liquor wrapped in brown newspaper. Yes. That's what some of us will be doing, wouldn't it? That's right. <laughs> Sitting in the movies. Out with your date. Am I right? <laughs> well, that's what you would be doing. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> Some of you may would be in a gay bar. <laughs> if any of you is here, if any of you is here, you in the right place. Right, right place. You bring your gold jaws right here. <laughs> hmm? Come on here, right. your gold shorts. We'll take them off of you and dress you up with the book. Amen. Amen. That way we'll kick you right out of your cage, high up in the air in the club. Amen. Shaking your hips. <laughs> Glory right. to God. That's right. This is the right thing. Right, right thing. This is a program that touch everything. Oh yes. Off limits don't apply to us. No, no. Did you hear what I said? Amen. Off limits don't apply to us. No, no. Not 
touching various subjects uh, don't apply to us. No. Glory to God, the word of God tells us to go in the temple mm -hmm. the and tell the people yeah. all, all the words, words. All the words of this life. Tell them everything. Everything's right. So uh, I you know there's many that says, well, he's too outspoken. He's 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 mean. He's nasty. He don't uh, I was reading the email uh, in the office before I came out before I came out. There's a constant complaint. Where is your love? Mm -hmm. Show me your love. That used to be a song, you know. <laughs> Show me your love. Well, your love is right here. Right here. Amen. So raise up the love, William. Show it to them. So there it is. <laughs> there it is. I told you last time, this is the love program. Amen. Amen. <laughs> You bring in nothing but the things of God, and you can't get nothing better than that. That's right. Someone saying, well, I don't feel no love. I'm not over the air for you to feel love. Amen. Did you hear what I said? That's right. We're not over the air for you to feel love. No. We're over the air so you can feel condemned. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. God ain't never sent a man so you can feel love. No. God sent a man to condemn your sin. And your sin will never stop until you feel condemnation. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Whenever Jesus sent the prophets and the apostles, they came along condemning the government and the world because they were violating God's law. Take not that I am come to send peace on earth. Listen, listen that brother Jesus. In Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. Yes. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace. But what? But a sword. Now. If somebody gonna tell me they come to bring a sword, they're not coming to play with me. No, no. And they're not coming to spank me. That's right. That's right. They're not coming to make them to be my buddy. That's right. They're not coming just to be a friend. They're coming to shed some blood. Oh yeah. Coming to cut you. Oh yeah. Amen. Now, viewers, if any man use the word of God right. Believe me, you're going to bleed some. Yes, you will. That's right. yes. Am I right? Amen. That's right. Anybody in here that have ever been cut by the word, you felt it. Yes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. In fact, we still feel it. Yes, Amen. Oh, yeah. We feel it right now. Yes. It's a rotten now thing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's a two-edged sword that's designed to cut. Why? The sword detach you yes, sir. from what you connected to. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the flesh, it's connected to something that God don't want you to be connected to. Amen. That's right. So God come to bring a sword in the sword. form of preaching. Mm -hmm. right. God make manifest his word through preaching. That's right. So many of you now, you're not ready to walk with God. That's why you're up there partying, having a good time, and drinking beer, and some of you silly women <laughs> out there dancing with your low-riding jeans and a fella grinding on the front of you and yeah. a fella grinding on the back of you. Amen. Dancing with your, displaying your tattoos and your fake hair and your fake eyelashes That's right. and your artificial leaves stick on nails. That's right. Dancing and sweating and hollering mm -hmm. like a wild animal. That's right. With no God. No God. Amen. You and your crazy husband. That's right. That's Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. Look at you, mom, pa. Amen. Even your grandparents out there trying to boogie. That's right. That's right. <laughs> out there trying to dance. That's yeah. right. It's a shame. Yeah. You're getting older. Yeah. Right. Viewer, you that are here, you ain't discovered no fountain of youth. That's no. right. Peter, pop off taller water. They ain't gonna do nothing for you. That's right. Oh, no. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> What you need is God in your life. That's right. Amen. That's true. Are you listening? Amen. Look at you. Amen. You smoke all day and every day. Amen. 
Go to church and then go drink whiskey. Go to church, and the moment you leave your church, you go across the street to the bar owned by the church. That's right. <laughs> and when you go in the bar or go to the club, see, this is the problem. When you go to the club, you see the same folk there that you saw in church. That's right. Same folks. The choir director is there dancing. That's right. The choir members are dancing and shaking. Yeah. Preacher children is there. Mm -hmm. And the same one that's on the dance floor is going to be on the choir stand. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yes, it is. That's right. That's They're going right. to be on the choir stand. They're going to be ushering. Oh, yeah. They're going to be collecting the offering. Yeah. Some of them are going to be the old mothers in the church. That's right. oh, yeah. I want to open your eyes, sleepyhead. <laughs> That's right. Get you to make a change, especially you young people. That's right. yeah. Devil made you hate yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you know now is the acceptable time? Now is the day of salvation? Yeah. Now is the day for change? That's right. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Many of you are upset with me because this program don't condone your wickedness. Amen. Why? God don't condone it. Amen. So God wants you to come out of your sin before you die and go to hell. That's right. So God sent me to you. God did. Preacher, God, God sent me to you. That's right. Don't you know that? That's why we on the air. That's right. That's right. Jehovah. <coughs> Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Lord God Almighty. That's yeah. right, sir. He sent us to you. Mm -hmm. That you might be scripturally correct. Because when you look at everything and everything is over, I want to get into the kingdom of God. That's Amen. right. I am not going to stay in no false church because my friend is there, because my wife is there, because my husband is there, because my children is there, because my family is there. No. no. My soul is more important than all of them. Amen. 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 All right, listen. That's right. You have one soul, viewer. Think of it. There is no purgatory. No, no. The Catholic priests, they all lie to you. That's right. All of them. Glory to God. All of them. From the Pope down. That's right. There is no purgatory. None. Jesus said, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Yeah. The prophets or the apostles of Jesus never had a message that puts you in between. No, no. There is no purgatory. No way. Amen. Someone wrote me, emailed me. In fact, get that question. I want the question where the gentleman, the Catholic gentleman wrote me, and then the, someone wrote me again and asked me my belief about statues and praying to saints. Hmm. Well, what is our stand on that? Oh, God, I wish I had a nice statue to show them. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I wish I had a statue to show them. I will show you what it cannot do. My God, I'm almost tempted to make a brother to run to the store and get me something. <laughs> Amen. But that's all right. That's I'll all right. break one again. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Because I want to get the Supreme statue. That's right. Mm -hmm. I want to get a statue of a so called crucifix. Mm. I want to see can that fella <laughs> on this life size crucifix, can he do something for me? Yeah. I want to say, don't talk about my Jesus like that. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, right. that's not my Jesus. That's what they say. For my Jesus ain't hanging around nobody's neck. No. Am I right? Amen. He's not hanging around your neck, and he's not on no cross okay. as I speak. That's, that's right. right. As you speak. Amen. He ain't on no cross. That's right. He was crucified. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's, that's true. true. Amen. So uh, I would love to do that. I would love to get a life-size statue of this uh, supposedly Jesus. Right. <laughs> I would love to meet the person that posed for it. Oh, That's yeah. Right. Because all the statues, none of them look the same. No. All right, come on, Dan, the man, let's get busy. Uh, this letter <coughs> comes from uh, New Jersey. <clears throat> yeah. It says, uh, Reverend Jennings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My wife. They don't know no better. No, no. <laughs> Where did it come from, Jersey? From New Jersey. New Jersey. Let me kind of help you. I'm not a reverend. The only one that can bear the title of reverend and get away with it is God. God Almighty. For the holy book teaches us holy and reverence is what? His name. His name. I'm not a reverend. Amen. 
man. No. no. You don't have in the book of scriptures Reverend Jeremiah. No. no, no. Reverend John or no. Reverend Peter or Reverend Paul or no, no. Reverend James. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And if they wasn't called Reverend, I'm not better than they, That's right. then I have to take the back seat. That's right. yeah. I can't be called Reverend. No. You know. All right, come on. All right, this letter says, Brother Jennings, mm -hmm. the subject is praying to saints. Okay. My wife, a devout Catholic, mm -hmm. prays to God through saints. She believes the saints will intercede on her behalf. Mm -hmm. I tell her that she can pray directly to God. Mm -hmm. He's always listening. Also, what is your belief about saints and sainthood from New Jersey? Wonderful letter. Mm -hmm. The Catholic beliefs about sainthood <clears throat> is a fairy tale. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Let me say it again. <laughs> the Catholic's beliefs about sainthood, how you come into sainthood, yeah. Yeah. is a fairy tale. Because they believe that you become a saint after you're dead. That's right. And after you're dead, you must perform several miracles. Yeah. Three. About three miracles, more or less. Mm -hmm. And then you get promoted <laughs> to sainthood. Mm. Now, <laughs> show you that it's not of God mm -hmm. you don't become a saint until the Pope announce you announces you mm. a saint that's right mm. Mm? that's right you don't become a saint until the Pope and the Catholic Church announce you so therefore they are in the decision seat they decide yeah. who becomes this saint the Old Testament prophet said, God will keep feet the saints. feet of his, his saints. His saints. His saints. His. His saints. His saints. Now, God make intercession for us. That's right. In the book of Romans. Amen. Listen at this, New Jersey. Listen at this. Amen. Book of Romans, chapter 8 and at verse 26. Yes. Likewise also the Spirit. Likewise also the Spirit. Also helpeth our infirmities. Helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for we as we ought. We don't know what we should pray for sometimes. But. But. The Spirit. Oh, it, but. But. Mary. The Spirit. <laughs> But Martha, but the Spirit, Amen. but Saint Christopher, but the Spirit, but Saint George, uh, but the Spirit, Mother Teresa, but the Spirit, Saint Billy Bob, but the Spirit. <laughs> That's wonderful. Amen. Open your eyes. I want to open your eyes. That's right. Wonderful. I don't want a God that can't do nothing for me. Until I talk to somebody else. Amen. In other words, God don't have a heavenly switchboard up there. Right. No. Where you're being plugged in. <coughs> put on hold. That's right. <laughs> because you want to be, you want to pray answer so you talk to a saint or you talk to somebody. No. No, no, no. I talk direct. Listen, listen to what I'm about to tell you. <laughs> I talk Direct to him. That's right. That's not right. only me. Mm -hmm. All what you see in here. When we pray, yeah. Lord, yeah. take God, we talk direct to him. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Holy, holy. 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 That's right. I want a God that can hear me right now. That's right. Amen. I appreciate it. Wonderful, sir. Amen. I, I, I don't want to have to. Wake up a saint first. No. No, I, I don't need that. Don't need that. All you got to do is go look at the scriptures. That's right. You don't find no one try to pray to a saint and then try to get the saint to connect them to God. That's right. You don't find that. No. Even Mary, the mother of Jesus, you don't find nobody, nobody. in the New nobody. Testament praying to Mary. No, no one. Nobody. 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 That's right. At no time. No time. Listen. Nobody. At no time. No time. That the scriptures says that you talk to Mary mm -hmm. and Mary make intercession. No, that's true. Not written. For the members of the human race. That's right. Not written. That's, that's deception. That's right. Hmm? That's, that's right. right. 
You, Mary didn't recommend herself when she was living. No, she right. didn't. No, she didn't. Are you listening? No, she, no, she didn't. didn't. Mary didn't recommend herself. No. Amen. Amen. Mary recommend Jesus. And both Jesus was called. Give chapter and verse for this. St. John chapter 2, we'll begin at verse 1. <coughs> and the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee. Yeah. And the mother of Jesus was there. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. The mother of Jesus. And the Hold mother. It. Mm -hmm. Not the mother of God. No. <laughs> That's right. No. Couldn't be so. That's right. I want to soak you a little. Mm -hmm. I say the mother of Jesus. Mother of Jesus. Not the mother of God. That's right. God don't have no mother. Amen. God is not begotten. No. Jesus got his name from God. That's right. His name was inherited. Amen. That's right. Amen. When you inherit something, it's passed down. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. The reason why he got God's name so God can get the credit for the work that's done. Amen. That's, right. Amen. that's why he said, I come. Mm -hmm. I got in my father's name. Father's I come in the name of God. That's right. Amen. So Mary was the mother of the flesh and blood that came from a womb. Mm -hmm. Mary was not the mother of of the creator. That's right. Mary was the mother of the creature that was created by the creator. That's right. That's right. Mary, the mother of God. That's a lie. That's a lie. Amen. Amen. Look at me good, viewer. Mm -hmm. This is love talking to you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. God don't have a mother. No mother. Amen. Amen. No mother. God have no beginning of days and God have no end of life. That's right. Amen. There is no, there is no age on him. No. No, no age on him at all. No, no. Let's get this good. Come and, on, son. And the mother of Jesus was there. I want to show you who Mary recommend. Mm -hmm. The and mother of, of Jesus, Jesus was there. Was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And what? And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus the said unto him. The mother of Jesus, him, oh, Mother Mary. That's right. Mother Mary. <laughs> saith unto him. Saith unto him. They have no wine. We don't have no wine. Jesus saith unto her. What? Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother saith unto the servants. Pray unto me. Whatsoever he saith no, unto you. His mother saith unto the servants. You, you, you talk to me and I connect you with Jesus. His mother saith unto the servants. No, I, you should pray right now to me and then I, you know, I help you along with Jesus. Whatsoever he saith unto you. Get up off your knees. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You in the hospital kneeling down to some statue. That's right. Kneeling down to some statue. A statue. That's idolatry. Yes, it is. Idolatry. Yeah, that's, right. that's what that is. All in the Catholic churches and the Lutheran churches and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Statues of angels and Statue, yeah. of people and all that stuff. Yeah. Idols of the heathen. Oh, yeah. Many of you Catholics went as far as holding mm -hmm. body parts mm -hmm. of the deceased. Mm. My Lord. Men and women that have been dead for 40, 50, 60 years. And one church, they got the heart of a man in a glass box. My Lord. Man been dead for years. Yeah. Amen. Another church, they got somebody's foot. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Another church, somebody's hand. My Lord. God is not the God of the dead. That's right. Glory to God, but of the living. That's right. Amen. Think of it. True. We're in the 21st century. Amen. And this idolatry is still going on and been going on for thousands of years. That's right. That's true. That's true. For thousands of years. Amen. That's true. I don't need no woman or no man mm -hmm. from the past mm -hmm. that have died mm -hmm. for me to talk to. Mm -hmm. Before I get in contact with God. That's right. The God that I serve is more competent than that. That's yes, right. Yes, he is. Yeah. That's Amen. right. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you talk to Peter, well, you ain't talking to him. It's all in your imagination. <laughs> That's right. It's, it, it, it's your imagination. That's what it is. Just, there's a song that's saying, just my imagination. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Running away with me. Just my imagination. That's right. Running, Running away. <laughs> Running away with me. That's Running right. away with me. 
That's right. Glory to God. That's what it is. That's all it is. It is uh, the mind that works. Uh, Your mind is all messed up. Amen. <laughs> Think of it. Amen. Well, Listen at the book of scriptures. Jesus says unto her, woman, what woman, have I to do with thee? Yes. Mine hour is not yet come. <clears throat> what is it? His mother says unto the servants, whatsoever he says unto you, do it. You hear that? Amen. Amen. The scripture teaches us to pray to God. That's, That's right. right. That's what the scripture teaches. That's Amen. right. Daniel, Pre listen at this. Daniel chapter 9, we're at verse 3. Listen, New Jersey. And I set my face. I set my face. Unto the Lord God. I set my face unto Mary. Unto the Lord God. I set my faith, my face, mm -hmm. unto some saint. I set my face unto the Lord God. Now look at what you're doing. Amen. You got little crucifix all around your house. You got statues yeah. of some woman. Amen. Supposed to be the blessed mother. Mm hmm <laughs> That's right. That's you got right. all these statues of mangers mm -hmm. out where I live at. One church called the Church of the Brethren. They went beyond the statues for Christmas. Mm. Volunteers mm. <laughs> got in front of the church. Oh, Lord, my Lord. They made a makeshift barn. They got some hay and put it on the sidewalk and got behind the fence and put on, you know, the, the, the clothing of biblical time and had some real calves mm. and a real baby. Oh, and none of it was Jesus. My Lord. Mm. Somebody had the little boy making mockery of the Messiah. My Lord. You see, people, listen. God don't need no help. No, no. Think of it. Why would God need you to talk to Mary, Martha, Peter, James, John That's first? Right. That's right. No, no. Just to get an answer from him. From him. That's right. Don't need that. Jesus said the comforter will come. Amen. Glory to God. I need a God I can talk to when I can't get around to nobody else. Nobody. That's right. Listen to what the book says. Daniel 9 and verse 3 and 4. And I set my face unto the Lord I God. I set my face to the Lord God. To seek by prayer. To do what? To seek by prayer. To seek. <laughs> Glory to God. I seek the Lord's face by prayer. And supplication. Supplication. Crying out to him. That's right. Amen. That's right. Crying out yes, to him. That's right. In fact, the saints that many of you pray to, mm -hmm. like Mary and the apostles, mm -hmm. Let me show you what they done. Amen. Right. They didn't pray to themselves. That's, That's right. right. Give me the first chapter of Acts of the, of Acts Apostles. the Apostles. Amen. <laughs> Hear me, New Jersey. Yep. Acts chapter 1 and at verse 12. Listen at this. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the Mount called Olivet. Yeah. Which is from Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey. Uh-huh. And when they were come in. When they were come in. They went up into an upper room. They went to an upper room. Where abode both Peter. Uh-oh. Amen. Here you had the first pope of the Catholics. That's right. The one who they called the first pope. That's right. The scriptures didn't call him that. No. But I want to say it to the Catholics, the scriptures talking about who you call your first pope. That's right. Look at this now. Where abode both Peter? They they abode both Peter and James, James and John come on. and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, mm -hmm. Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus and, and Simon Zelotes and Judas the brother of James. What happened? These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and, who? and Mary the mother of Jesus. Wait a minute, Mary was up there praying too? Mary the mother of Jesus. These all continue. My God, I've been telling you and all the answers is right here in the book. That's right. Mary was up there praying too? Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brethren. All continue. Pope won't tell you that. No, no. So whenever the, the Catholic Church dean who can be a saint, mm -hmm. that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. Let me make it plain. If you're not a saint mm -hmm. in this life, Amen. That's if right. you don't master sainthood right here. Right here in this life, right here. Right. you die out of the will of Almighty God. That's right. The priest can throw all the water on you he wants. That's right. And speak all the Latin over you that he may please. Amen. In hell. Oh, yes. Glory to God in hell. Shall you lift up your eyes? That's right. Oh, yes. Uh, no, I don't waste my time talking to Mary. She can't help me. No, and I prayed unto the Lord my God. Look at all this. In Daniel 9 and verse 4. Glory to God, I did what? And I prayed unto the Lord my God. I prayed unto the Lord my God. And made my confession. 
Amen. That's right. Just a minute now. Just that's, a minute. That's right. Just a minute. Amen. That's right, sir. Just a minute. Amen. I read that right. Amen. You better read that right, Williams. And I pray. I pray. Unto the Lord my God. And who did I confess to? And made my confession. And said, O Lord. And said, O Mary. And said, O Lord. O Peter. O Lord. O priest. O Lord. O Lord. The great and dreadful God. Amen. You got to pray to him. Yeah. You got to serve him. Oh, yeah. You got to bow to him. Amen. You got to obey him. That's right. You got to wish up him. him. It's That's all right. about him. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. all centered around him. That's right. It's all about God. Amen. Amen. Or it take Amen. God every church in the world Amen. that has Amen. statues yeah. of idols. You are idolatrous. Amen. Every, every church. Amen. Every church, every, every church. religion on the planet. That's Amen. right. That bow and pray to images and idols. Amen. God is not in none of it. Thus in process of time. Listen at this. In the wisdom of Solomon chapter 14 and verse 16. Glory to God. Amen. What is it? Thus in process of time. Thus in process of time. An ungodly custom. All right. This is the condition of the Catholic church in the world. That's right. Ungodly. Ungodly This is what the word of God says. Amen. And the book of the wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 14. Chapter 14. And verse 16. Verse 16. Thus in process of time. In process of time. An ungodly custom. An ungodly tradition. Grown strong. It grew strong. Was kept as a law. It was kept as what? As a law. As a law. And graven images. Listen. All right, churches. Get Amen. this. And right. graven images. The scripture is itemizing the behavior. That's right. That's right. Of idolatrous. That's right. You have kept graven images and graven images were worshipped graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings mm. amen Constantine made a creed of that folly that's right oh yeah so mm. many of you Catholics write me and say well the reason why we have statues Pastor Jennings we don't wish up the statues mm. but we wish up those we have those statues so we can remember the dead saints who told you Mary looked like that that's, that's right, right. Remember that's that. right. Remember that. Oh, yeah. The one that made that staff is supposed to be Mary. Who Amen. told you that looked like Mary? That's right. Mm -hmm. Who told you Jesus looked like that crucifix you had? That's right. right. You have statues in your church supposed to be Gabriel and Raphael and mm -hmm. the different angels. Who told you they look like that? Have you met them? Amen. That's right. That's right. Now let me get raw. Go ahead, brother. Real raw. Go, Go ahead. Get ready. Why is it in a Catholic church that every biblical character Go ahead. and every heavenly host Amen. is always white? That's right. How is it? How is it? Why? Go ahead. Amen. Why is that? Why is that? That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, you sound like a bigot. No, I'm not a bigot. Amen. I'm just asking you a question. That's, That's right. right. Open in your eyes. Why is every angel mm -hmm. and Jesus, Amen. all the apostles, mm -hmm. every character in the Bible, mm -hmm. Why are they always white? Mm -hmm. Willing to please one in authority. What's the reason? Amen. What's the reason? What's the reason? Amen. This is the reason. Still in you the don't, you don't want to offend the public. That's right. You don't want to offend the public. That's right. So the Europe's mm -hmm. that have the mind of bigots. Go ahead. They come along and made all heaven mm -hmm. and everyone in the scriptures mm -hmm. one race. That's right. To make a race feel superior yeah. and make everybody else feel inferior. And this was an occasion. This was an occasion. To deceive the world. I told you. Amen. Amen. That's right. Tell us, say, well, what color is God? God don't, God don't go by color. No. God no. go by nature. That's right. Made all people. That's right. Amen. I don't care nothing about your color, but I'm just asking a question. That's right. I want to know this. Amen. You know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I would like to know how is it mm -hmm. that uh, you're so holy mm -hmm. and you're supposed to be, as you call yourself, the original apostolic church. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. Why is it that everybody, 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 everybody that's right, everybody, that's right. from God down, amen, is white, is white, but the devil is black. That's right. But the devil is black. <laughs> that's, right. that's the truth of it. That's true. That's right. 
That's right. Amen. That's right, God. What did Satan do? Stereotype That's religion? That's right. And use the scriptures to manipulate That's right. religion. That's, That's right. right. Amen. See the world. And if I can manipulate scripture, right, I can make any race feel inferior or superior to another. That's right. And then convince them that it's God's will. Amen. Excellent, sir. Excellent. Just the question. Amen. We tear down, tear down racism. That's right. Tear it down, sir. Tear it down. Amen. You bring me a white Jesus and a black one. I just bring you Jesus. That's, That's right. right. You bring me a white God and a black one? No, I just preach God. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. And this was an occasion. God, if you want some New Year's fireworks, here they are, right here. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> Amen. That's all right. <laughs> Listen to what the word of God said. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14 and verse 21. What is it? And this was an occasion to deceive the world. This was an occasion to trick the world. For men serving either calamity or tyranny. And? Did ascribe unto stones and stocks the incommunicable name. Yes. Moreover, this was not enough for them. This wasn't enough for them. That they erred in the knowledge of God. They erred. 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 Erred in the knowledge of God. Idolatry. Idolatry. That's right. To this day. To this day, people have heavily indulged mm -hmm. in idolatry. Oh, yeah. Made a God out of things. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. No one following me nowhere in the world. You better make a God out of me. No. Right. Oh, I'm right. not your God. That's oh, right. No. There are so many folks that pictures of Pastor Janice, but there ain't no good luck charm. Not a, not a, amen. I'm nobody's rabbit's foot. That's right. That's right, sir. That's right. You can have a wallet sized picture of me up on the plane, but if the plane go down, that picture won't help you stay up. Oh, yes, sir. That's right. All right. That's right. Amen. Amen. I say this because people are prone to get caught up yeah. in flesh. There's none to get caught up in other than God Amen. Himself. That's right. That's Him and Him alone. Him alone. Oh, so yes, we pray to God and God only. All right, come on, Dan. This other letter comes from, uh, it doesn't say where, but it's on the sermon about music. All right. Uh, the question is, about a month ago, you preached a message about playing music behind a preacher's <laughs> sermon. <laughs> you gave a scripture about this topic. Yes. Can you please uh, give me the scripture for the sermon? This person says, thank you. Every since that scripture was read, yes. letters yes. been coming Amen. in here ever since. Amen. Yes, sir. Here it is. Let me share it with you. In the book of Ecclesiastes. That way you can realize that your reverend is not a preacher. He's nothing but an entertainer. That's right. Listen at this. In Ecclesiasticus chapter 32. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, or it is also called the book of Serich. That's right. All right. Chapter 32. Chapter 32. And at verse 4. Hey, preacher. Mm -hmm. You offended because we use this. That's yeah. Right. You offended, aren't you? <laughs> That's right. Because we use this. That's, That's right. right. We're going to keep using it. Keep using it. Amen. It, call chapter and verse again. In Ecclesiasticus. Do you hear that? Chapter 32. It's the book of Ecclesiasticus, or, or it's also called Servage. That's right. You said I shouldn't use that, didn't you? Amen. I'm going to use it anyhow. Chapter 32. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And at verse 4. Listen, music world. Pour not out words. Pour not out words. Where there is a musician. Where there is a musician. And show not forth and wisdom. show not forth wisdom. Out of time. Now, that's the wrong time to show that. That's right. There should never be a musician playing behind a preacher. Mm -hmm. Never. Amen. And if you listen closely at the preacher, when the musician switch keys, mm -hmm. so does he. That's right. That's right. Doesn't it? That's Amen. right. Many of us came out of churches like that, didn't we? That's right. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. That's when the musicians switch keys and sometimes the preacher tell you, ain't no harm in morning. That's right. Ain't no organ right there behind them. Then the preacher say something else. Well, 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 well. <laughs> and the organ plays something else and they tell you, it's all right. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. all right. All right. Amen. Just to excite you. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. And you like a church fool, <laughs> Amen. jumping out of your chair, out. waving your handkerchiefs, mm -hmm. telling the Jerry Curl head reverend, go ahead. Yeah. 
<laughs> Praise him. That's right. But the holy book says what? Pour not out words. Pour not out words. Where there is a musician. You hear that? Amen. I don't need no music behind me. No. It's the time for God now. That's right. The time and the season for everything under the sun. That's right. When the word of God is being Preach. It's mm-hmm. the wrong time for music. for music. It's the wrong time for all that. That's right. Because when I see the word of God, it is the most important thing. So the, the book tells me mm-hmm. when I come to the house of God, mm-hmm. keep my foot. Keep your foot. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Keep my foot when I go to the house of God and be more ready to hear That's right. than to give the sacrifice of food. Amen. I don't want to hear no music when it's time mm-hmm. for preaching. No, no. Not that. No way. I want to hear what the word of God says. You see, when a man play music mm-hmm. behind the preacher, mm-hmm. they cover his lies. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Amen. Oh yes, it covers his lies. Amen. It covers the lies that he's constantly telling. Amen. Amen. So that's the scripture. Give chapter and verse again. In Ecclesiasticus chapter 32 <coughs> verse 4. Did you hear that preacher? Amen. You said you didn't want me to use it. <laughs> that's Amen. right. But I'm going to use it. God knows. Come on now. All right, Dan, let's have it. This other letter comes from, it says, on your television broadcast you preach Matthew 28 19, this person says, and also Acts 2 and 38. Mm-hmm. When Jesus Christ was preaching, he was preaching to the Jews. Matthew 28, 19 was to his Jewish disciples, this person says. Acts 2, 38 was to his Jews also. <laughs> My question to you is, Pastor Janice, yes. how do you explain 1 Peter? 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 21, which says, Not putting away the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience towards God. How do you explain the thief on the cross with Jesus? The thief was never baptized. <coughs> Baptism is the picture of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jesus' baptism was a sign to the Jews that he was the Son of God. Baptism, this person says, does not save you. Mm. <laughs> Only by grace through faith, Romans 10, 9 mm-hmm. to 13. I love letters like this. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wonderful. I agree that we're saved by grace. By grace, that's, right. that's true. What you mean? Grace is nothing but an act of mercy that God showed upon us that's so right. we can be saved. That's right. That's all. That's right. He showed mercy. Mercy, that's it. Now, Amen. you said that it was to the Jews? Mm-hmm. All right. That include me. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That includes you. That's right. That's right, that's right. That's right brother. Amen. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, I'll, I'll take that. That's <laughs> right. Take That's God. right. Yes. Go ahead. You That's see, right. he was talking to the Jews. Jews. All right. Go ahead. That include me yes. and you. That's Amen. right. That include all of us. Everybody. That's right. That's Let right. me show you this. Let's go to the book of Romans. Romans now. chapter 2, we'll begin at verse 28. Glory, take God. Come on, William. For he is not a Jew. He, he is not a Jew. Which is one outwardly. Which is not. See, I'm not a Jew outwardly. Outwardly. In other words, I'm not a direct descendant according to the flesh. That's, That's right. right. Of Brother Abraham. That's right. But what? But for he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, uh-huh. neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. Yeah. But he is a Jew. But I am a Jew. Which is one inwardly. Which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that you of see, the heart. The word of God which is a sharp two edged sword came and removed the foreskin off my heart. That's right. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. In the spirit. And hallelujah. Glory to God. In the spirit. In the spirit. And not in the letter. And not Amen. in the letter. Whose Amen. praise is not of men. When it says in the spirit and not in the letter, that means in the spirit, but not according to the law. That's, That's right. right. Mm-hmm. Not in the letter. You understand? Not, not in the letter. Not according to the law. That's I'm right. I'm not a Jew according to the law. That's right. But I am a Jew according to the spirit. That's right. right. According to the law of who? The law of Moses. Amen. Excellent. You understand? Excellent. Because now Jesus come along Excellent. with the law of the spirit of life. That's it. That made us free from the law of sin, sin and death. death. For right. what the law could not do in that was weak through the flesh. Go ahead. God sinned against sons and okay. likeness of sinful flesh and yeah. for sin yeah. he condemned sin in the flesh, in the flesh that's that right. the righteousness of the law may be fulfilled yeah. in us. Go ahead. Not after the flesh, that's but that's after that's the that's spirit. That's that's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. You understand? But he is a Jew. <laughs> he is a Jew. Which is one inwardly. Which is one inward. And in, in, inward. Inwardly. 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 And what? That's it. Glory to God. And, circum- and what? That's right. Circumcision. Is that of the heart? Think of it. Amen. I was circumcised by God. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Swords, swords. Go ahead. Go ahead. You were circumcised perhaps by a natural priest or someone that administered circumcision. That's yeah. Right. But the circumcision that this is talking about is greater. That's right. Than the circumcision of the flesh. That's right. Because that's when God do it 
personally. personally. That's, right. That's right. Even Amen. though men may be circumcised naturally, all right, that's, that's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. But now you need something to get on the inside. That's right. So then God come along. That's Amen. right. Amen. With his word. With That's word. why it bears the title sword. sword. Amen. God's going to remove the false skin off your heart. That's it. Your heart needs circumcision. But he is a Jew. Listen, he is a Jew. Which is one inwardly. Which is one inwardly. And circumcision, and is, circumcision that is that of the heart. In the spirit. In the spirit. And not in the letter. And not in the law. That's right. Huh? That's, that's right. right. Not in the, see, the not in the, that, that's right. It, it's Go not ahead. doing according to the letter. Go ahead. Are you getting this? Go ahead. Go ahead. Take God. What did he say? And not in the letter. Not in the letter. Whose that's praise right. is not of men. You see, in the Old Testament, the praise, when you were circumcised according to the flesh, mm. they praised it. That's, that's right. And your false skin was kept as a token. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Come on. Whose praise is not of men, but of who? But of God. Now, Amen. you say water don't save nobody? Mm. You want us to explain 1 Peter? 1 Peter. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's explain that. Amen. Is that 1 Peter 3, 21 you want? 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 20. All right, let's kind of go in reverse and go up to verse 20. Verse 20. Let's see the comparison that the mm -hmm. apostle made That's right. with baptism and Noah. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. Take God. Listen at this. 1 Peter chapter 3 and at verse 20. All right. With some time we're disobedient. With some time we're disobedient. When once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah. Yes. While the ark was a prepared. Now remember television viewer you said water don't save nobody. Nobody. All right. We shall see. While the ark was a preparing. Mm -hmm. Wherein few that is eight souls. How were they saved in Noah's day? Were saved by water. All right. Let's look at the comparison that the apostle made of the salvation of water. Mm -hmm. All right. The like figure where unto. The like figure. In like manner. That's right. Unto. Even baptism. Even baptism is an outward sign of inward grace. Even baptism doeth also now save us. And what did he say? Baptism don't do what? Baptism does not save us. But what did the scripture say? Even baptism doeth also now save us. What did the writer say? He says baptism does not save you. What did the book of scripture say? Baptism doeth also now save what us. What did the writer say? Baptism does not save you. Something Only by wrong. grace. Amen. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. That's right. Jesus come on back the third day. Glory to God right. and appear to his apostles mm -hmm. and told them that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. That's right. He taught them. That's right. Go ye in all the world. That's right. Preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. Mm -hmm. He that believeth Baptist. and is baptized Baptist. shall be saved. Baptist. He that believeth not shall be damned. Right. Jesus was baptized as an example. That's, that's right. That we should follow his steps. His steps. That's, right, sir. Yeah. Ahead, that's right. He got back. Not that he needed it. No. No, he didn't need it. No. Because no. he didn't have no that's sin. Right. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. That's but he got baptized. That's right. As an example. That's right. Well, it left, left a pattern of good works. Amen. That's right. Took every excuse from everybody. That's right. So he come along, got baptized. Amen. That's right. Come straight way up out the water. Heavens open up. Yeah. Right. Spirit of God descended down upon him. Mm -hmm. Symbolizing the Holy Ghost coming upon him. That's right. Now, Jesus left an example of what we must do in order to be born again. That's right. That's right, sir. After Jesus mm -hmm. died, mm -hmm. rose. Ascended above all heavens. Amen. Amen. He gave the commandments to his apostles. To the apostles. That's right. Scripture says, Oh, former treaties had I made, O oh, Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach. teach. Until the day in which he was taken up, after that, he through the Holy Ghost the had given the commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen. chosen. So, given the commandments to his apostles that he chose, right. he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem. That's right. Wait. Wait, wait there. Glory wait take off. The promise of the Father. You, you wait there until the promise of the Father come. That's which right. Says, you heard of me. You heard of me. You heard of me. That's right. Let you know that he was the father. That's right. That's right. Do That's you right. get what I'm telling you? Right. Right. You see what he says there? Mm -hmm. Read yeah. that in the first chapter of the book of Acts. Come on, son. First chapter of the book of Acts. Move fast. And at verse 4. Come on. And being assembled together with them. He did what? Commanded them. He that, commanded them. That they should not that depart they should from Jerusalem. not leave Jerusalem. But wait for the promise Stay of the father. Stay there for the promise. Wait, wait for the Holy Ghost to come. Which Amen. saith he. Did, wait for what? Promise of the Father. Wait for the promise of the Father. Wait for the promise of God. Amen. That's right. Get the language of the book. Amen. Wait, Wait for the promise of the Father. That's right. Wait for the promise of, of the God. Father. That's right. What? Which saith he? Which saith he? Ye have heard of me. Ye have heard of me. Of me. Mm -hmm. That's right. The, Jesus is that Father. That's right. Huh? Wait for the promise you of the Father. Wait for the promise of the Father. Which, which saith you? 
heard you heard of me. Of me. Right. Of me. You get what I'm telling you. Ahead, now, you Go say ahead. baptism is not for nobody or it don't save nobody? Nobody. Let's take a trail real quick. Amen. Acts, Let's see every two place and verse where the apostles preach salvation. Acts 2 and verse 38. Come on, John. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. Repent. Repent in 2008. That's right. Go ahead, Pops. I God repent. That's repent. Right. You that wrote this, you better repent. That's Amen. right. You didn't know no better. My God, you were just as ignorant as I was one time. That's right. My God, but when you understand it, come open. You'll find yourself repenting. Amen. Amen. You are repenting. They go down in order. Amen. Right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go you uh, compare the baptism mm -hmm. to Jesus' death. That's right. That's true. I agree. That's right. When you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, the water itself <clears throat> represents the grave. What shall we say then? To the book when Pastor Paul went on down to Italy mm -hmm. and the student or the scribe Tertullius began to write. Go ahead, it is brother. written in the sixth chapter of the book of Romans. That's what right. shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Go ahead. God forbid. That's right. I show you that are dead to sin live any longer than in. Know you not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his, his death. death. That's right. Yeah. That's he right. Was baptized into, into his death. His death. Death. That's right. He was baptized into Hallelujah. his death. Yes. Glory to God. So here you have the Messiah up on the cross. Go ahead, Amen. brother. Hallelujah to God. Go ahead. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 On the cross. Amen. Amen. Hanging there. Go ahead. Amen. Bless God from the sixth to the ninth hour to darkness That's right. cover the earth. That's right. Then the earth began to quake. Go ahead. Blessed be the name of God. Go ahead. And when he went down to the lower parts of the earth Hallelujah. and God will not allow that body to see corruption. That's right. Here come the spirit taking the place of the blood. That's right. Because he lost the blood on the cross. Amen. Meaning he lost his natural life. That's right. And in order for that body of the Messiah to live again, life had to come from somewhere. Amen. If he would have got a blood transfusion, then he would have went back as a relative of the human race. Go Hey, so here come God Jehovah. Hallelujah. That's right. Stepping down the lower Amen. part. Hallelujah. Of the Hallelujah. Go ahead. Stepping down in the lower part. Hallelujah. Of the earth. That's right. Getting in the body. Go ahead. Got back in the body. Amen. Back in sister flesh, flesh and bones. And right. then glorified. That's right. Highly exalted. That's right. Elevated. Came on out the third day. Go ahead. And said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All power. Give it unto me. Right. Give it unto me in heaven, heaven and in earth. Right. He left a perfect example. That's right. Now, when he went down to the grave. Amen. You got to go down to the liquid grave. That's Amen. right. That's which right. Which is water. Therefore, when he came up, go ahead. A glorified body. Go ahead. He came up with a new life. New that's life. right. Huh? Yes, he did. Listen at this. Romans six and verse four. Come on, son. Therefore, we are buried Therefore, with him. We are buried with him by baptism. We are buried with him. Buried with. See, you got to be baptized. Got to be. That's For right. you to recognize Jesus' burial, that's you got right. to be baptized. No, you right. not. Huh? That's, that's right. right. No, you not. That's so many of us. That's so many of us. That's what So many of us. Right. So many of us That's right. as were baptized into Jesus into Christ. Jesus Amen. Christ baptized. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Into his death. Into his death. Therefore, Therefore we, 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 we are buried with him. Hallelujah. 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 Therefore, uh, we, we, we are buried with him. We are buried with him. Amen. Don't tell me you don't got to be baptized. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, Therefore we are buried with him. We are buried with him. Buried with him. By baptism. By baptism. Into death. Amen. Into death. That like as Christ. You see, just like as Christ. Was Amen. raised up. Was raised up. From the dead. From the dead. By the glory by of the, the Father. the power Amen. of God. Even so we also should Even walk. so we. 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 That's right. Right. We the people. We the people. That's right. Also, should walk, should walk in newness of life. You see, when I come out that water, Go ahead. after I repented Amen. and went down the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. thank God, my Amen. inherited sin, yes. singular, right. the sin I inherited That's right. from the first man, Adam, Amen. and the sins, plural, right. that I committed, That's right. washed away. Washed away. Washed away. Yeah. That's right. Washed away. Someone said, well, what about the blood of Christ? That's right. That was it. Remember, when they pressed him in the side, came two elements water. came out. That's right. Blood and water. And water. That's right. Blood and water. And water. But one of the soldiers. Blood and water. And water. That's right. Listen. Night John, St. John 19 and verse 34. One of the soldiers. With a spear. With a spear. Pierced his side. Pierced his side. And forthwith came forthwith there out. Came out. Blood. Blood. And water. And water. The That's question right. is, why blood? And water. Blood and water. Really. Why blood mm -hmm. and water? That's right. The Apostle John said, This is he. That's came. right. That came by water That's right. and blood. Not, Not by, by water, water only. only. That's right, but, That's by, but water. by water and blood. And blood. Now, right. in order for you to get the blood, you gotta get water. That's, That's right. right. 
in order for your sins to experience remission. Remission. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hmm? That's yes, right. You better give me Acts 2 38 Acts and give 38. me Hebrew 9 22. Amen. Acts I want to work Wonderful. on the word remission. Remission. Wonderful. Remission means removing. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Look at the word Amen. remission. That's right. Now get this. Acts chapter 2. I want this to be good for everybody that says, well, you ain't got to be baptized. I got the blood of Jesus. That blood of Jesus. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. No baptism. Mm -hmm. No blood. No blood. No washing. Well, the right. blood washed away my sins. How? How? How do you get it? How? How? That's right. That's right. How? That's right. Remember, two elements came out. Mm -hmm. You just can't harp on the blood. No. That's right, well, I got the blood. All right. How did you get the water? You That's, get right. That's right. Blood and water. That's right. Huh? That's true. Amen. Well, I got the blood. Blood, blood and, didn't just come out. Blood, blood and water. Blood and water. The book plainly said he came by blood, blood and, water. and water. All right, if you got the blood, how did you get one part get and Not eliminate the other part? That's, That's right. right. Right, man, tell me how. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Come on, son. Acts 2 and verse 38. Glory to God, what is it? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Join the church. Repent. Bow your head and raise your hand, accept Christ where you sit at. Repent. The hour of power. Repent. Pray a sinner's prayer. Repent. Cut that religious garbage out. That's right. Amen. Then Peter said unto them, Do it God's way. Right. Amen. Men and brethren, what shall we do? Hmm. What? Men and brethren, what shall we do? That's some information. That's a question. That's a question. Amen. That's right. Amen. Men and brethren, what shall we do? That's right. Information. Hmm. What? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. No. Hmm. Confess to Mary. That's right. Repent. Give an offering. Join the church. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Mm -hmm. Raise your hand and bow your head. Repent. Hold the preacher's hand and repeat a sinner's prayer. Repent. Do you get this, viewer? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized. And what? Every one of you. You're right. It's right back to everybody again. Everybody. Every one of you. Everybody. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's Amen. right. In the name of Jesus Christ for what? For the remission of sins. Now, remission means removal. Amen. Now, you harp on the blood. Right. Yes, blood is for remission of sins. That's right. But blood and water came out. Blood, that's right. Listen at 922 of the book of Hebrew. Hebrew. I want you to focus on the word remission. Amen. Peter plainly says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission. Remission. Of sin. So I got to be baptized to get my sins removed. That's right. All right. Hebrews 9 and verse 22. What is it? And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. Almost all things by the law are purged with what? With blood. Are purged with what? With blood. Are purged with what? With blood. Blood is the subject. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's awesome. right. Almost all things by the law are purged with blood. With blood. And yeah. without, without shedding without of blood. Without the shedding. Without the, the shedding. shedding. Shedding of blood. Without the shedding. Without the shedding Without of blood. Without the shedding. That's right. Of blood. Is no remission. Now, that's why he shed blood. Right. And water. That's right. Because the water would be ineffective right. without the blood. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The water would not have no, you can be baptized all you want. All you want. But if Jesus would never shed blood, right. then your baptism wouldn't be no good. That's right. Yeah. Without yeah. shedding of blood. See, if, he, if he never shed blood, That's it. you would have to keep baptizing That's and right. keep baptizing That's right. until some blood be shed. That's right. Come and say, well, I don't believe that. I can prove it. That's In right. the days of Moses, That's right. Jesus' blood was not shed. That's, That's right. right. But they were baptized. That's that's in right. the cloud, that's right. I in the sea, that's, that's true. Unto Moses, that's right. All of a sudden, that faded that out. Faded out. John the Baptist came. That's right. Baptized under John. Amen. That faded out. That faded out. But now here comes Jesus. How much more? <laughs> that's right. Glory to God. That's right. The word of God says what? In Hebrews nine and verse fourteen. How much more? Shall the blood of Christ? Shall the blood of Christ? Who through? Who through? The eternal spirit. The eternal spirit. Offered up Himself without spot to God. You see that? Amen. You see, the spirit took the place of the priest. That's, that's right. right. You see, in the Old Testament, the priest, the priest, he will offer up the sacrifice. That's right. But here come the eternal right. God, which is the priest that abide forever. forever. That's Glory right. To that's God right. continuously, that's eternal. Right. He come along and offer up that body once, once. for all that's to right. the eternal spirit, offered it up. That's right. Offered it up to himself. Amen. As a sacrifice. That's, that's right. That's God is there when the rose and came on back the third day, uh -huh. gave the commandments to his apostles, yeah, and charged them that repentance and remission of sins. It should be preached. That's right. That's, right. That's why I preach.
preach it. That's right. Because should they said be it preached. should be preached. Should be preached. Should be preached. You say, well, don't save nobody. Amen. Jesus said it should be preached. Should be preached in now, his name. this is what you got to do, right? Yeah. You're going to repent. Repent. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And be baptized. That's right. Every one of you. That's right. You. That's, That's right. right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Yeah. That's Amen. Right. Well, I'm already saved. No, you're not. No, you're not. You bow your head and raise your hands. You did? No, you did? Or no, no, no. you got with tired arms and a weary neck. That's, That's all. Right. Right. When I prayed a sinner's prayer, such a prayer has never been in the book of scripture. No, no. no, no I joined the church. God church, you can't join. That's you right. You got to be born in there. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. Why tell me stuff? You see, this is the only church that you can't join. That's right. You can't That's join right. God church. Amen. You only can join the church of men. That's, That's right. right. God got to put you in there. That's Amen. Right. Takes the Holy Ghost to put you in there. Takes the Holy Ghost to put you in there. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. The book says what? In Acts 22 and verse 16. What is it? Why tell us stuff? Why we? Arise. Get up. And be get up. That's right. Get up. Arise. Get up. Get up. That's right. Get up. Amen. And what? And be baptized. Amen. Yo, get up and accept Christ. Arise and be baptized. Get up and accept Christ where you sit at. Arise and be baptized. Doing what? And wash away thy sins. No, baptism don't do that. And be baptized and wash away thy sins. Not dry clean. That's right. Yes, Wash away thine sins. Calling on the name Amen. of the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. All right, I hope I straighten you out in that good detail. So, right. no, no, all the scriptures you bring, it fits. That's right. That's right. It's all right with us. That's right. We'll take care of you. All right, Dan, come on. This person says, praise the Lord. Praise him. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes. Can a person, this person asks, take communion if they have been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, but they have not been filled with the Holy Ghost? That's the question. First of all, when Jesus was here and served the Lord's Supper, uh -huh. the reason why the disciples didn't have the Holy Ghost in them because they didn't need it. That's right. Need it, yes, sir. He was among them. He was among them. That's right. The Holy Ghost was among them in a body of flesh and blood, tabernacling in a physical structure. The Holy Ghost is God and God is the Spirit. That's right, sir. So he was among them. So they didn't need the Holy Ghost because while he was with them, he kept them. That's right. But uh, when he depart, he told them, I send you a, another comfort. Another comfort. So when you take the Lord's Supper, <clears throat> Let me break the Lord's Supper down. Yeah. Mm? That's right. That's right. Let's break the Lord's Supper down because many of you, you do it wrong. Do it wrong. Do it wrong. How many of you here used to go to the bar? Raise your hand. Come on now. Don't be ashamed. That goes for you too, sisters. I know some of you used to. Know some of you kind of used to lick the tab too, you know. That's right. And the bar used to take them little shot glasses. Mm -hmm. Those shot glasses came out of the bar mm -hmm. right into the church That's in true. a little tray. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. And the preacher, he passed the tray around. And then they get that little wafer, little cracker, you know. Yeah. And they don't break it, which shows you ignore the Lord suffering. Let me detail a little bit more. And you take the Lord suffering the wrong time. That's right. That's right. You're taking it in the morning. Morning time. Wrong stuff you're using. Yeah. And the wrong time of day. <clears throat> Let me show you. In First Corinthians chapter, not, uh, First Corinthians chapter. First, 11. let's get Jesus. First Jesus. Wonderful. Matthew chapter 26. I got to go where the foundation was laid. That's right. Matthew, All right. Matthew 26 and verse 26. Follow me. And as they were eating. I also want to read the argument that mm -hmm. the Lord's Supper is supposed to be taken every Sunday. No, no. Yeah. Take your time. For it. That goes to show me you don't understand what it is. Yeah. That's right. Go ahead. Go if go these ahead. men understood the Lord's Supper was, they'd be scared to take it. That's right. Yes, they would. Very cool. You'll be very cautious. That's oh, right. You won't be crazy be advertising on your church billboard. <laughs> Give me right. first Sunday. Oh, oh no. no. No way. Not when you know the meaning. Not when you know the meaning of it. Amen. I had some folk tell me I want to go to a church where I can have communion every Sunday. What for? What for? It's a drunk, it's a drunk. You just want that wine. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Old drunk. Old drunk. That's right. 
That's right. I'm going to show you the consequences for taking it wrong. That's Amen. Right. Then you'll realize how dangerous and how That's sincere right. it is. Amen. That's right. Huh? That's Amen. right. All right, come on, William. Let's have it. Matthew 26 and verse 26. This is some good, good, good knowledge here. And as they were eating, as they were eating, Jesus took bread. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> they were already eating. Already eating. That's right. What kind of meal were they having? They made they it ready were, the Passover. Do you hear this? In Matthew 26 and verse 19. That's right. The ingredients mm -hmm. of the Lord's Supper or communion. Yep. Now the first day of the feast. Oh, glory to God. Amen. You're ready, aren't you? Oh, yes. My God. The ingredients was already there. Already See, right. they was already eating. They was having a feast. That's right. That's right. Amen. And the feast was the feast of the Passover. That's right. Passovers when they commemorated how the death angel mm -hmm. passed over mm -hmm. the houses of Israel and spared their life, but yet they didn't spare the firstborn of the Egyptians. No, That's right. Celebration. So they was having a celebration. Amen. Eating food. That's right. Amen. Now listen. Matthew 26 and verse 17. Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus. Yes. Saying unto him, where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? Jesus, where you want us to prepare the fat day of Passover? Where you want to have it at? And he said, go into the city. You to, go in the city. To such a man. To such a man. And uh -huh. saith unto him, the master saith, my time is at hand. My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. Come on. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Uh -huh. Now when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve. Mm -hmm. And as they did eat, he said, Verily While they were already eating. Already eating. Listen, God. And as they did eat. As they did eat. He said, verily I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. One of you going to commit treason. Mm -hmm. You always got the devil around. Always. That's right. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Always. I don't care where you are. Amen. Small group, large group, a half a group. Amen. That's right. He's present. That was always present. That's right. Mm -hmm. that, Come one, on, son. that one of you shall betray me. One of you shall betray me. They were exceeding sorrowful and began every one of them to say, Lord, is it I? How many asked that question? Every one of them. That include the one that knew he was going to betray them. That's, right. That's, right. That's right. He want to act, is it I, so he can blend in, you know. That's Don't right. stand out too bad. Amen. Come on. And he answered and said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, yes. the same shall betray me. All right. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. Mm -hmm. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Come on, son. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? He said unto him, Thou hast said. You said. And as they were eating, as they were eating, Jesus took bread. All right. Amen. He went from a natural feast right, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and now introduced a spiritual meaning. That's, That's right. right. Listen at this good. And as they were eating, Jesus as they were eating, Jesus not took, singing and eating. No. no See, I got the eating. detail of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? That's right. Come on and see what they got to do with it. Because you know in most churches, mm -hmm. when they greatly serve the Lord's Supper, mm -hmm. the congregation is singing. Sing. That's, right. That's right. Bread of heaven. <laughs> Bread of heaven. <laughs> Feed me till I want no more. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, buddy. That's right. Stop the bread. That's right. What do you mean, feed you till you don't want no more? No That's more. Right. And the Lord said, I'm that bread from heaven. Amen. You're supposed to always want more because you right. can never have enough. That's yeah. right. Don't stop the bread. They wasn't singing. No. As they were eating. As they were singing. As they were eating. As they were clapping. As they were eating. Amen. Amen. Listen. And as they were Glory eating. Glory to God as they were eating. Jesus took bread. Jesus took bread. And mm -hmm. blessed him. No, no. He just... Took it and gave it to him. Jesus took bread. Now, and you're going to find more than one prayer was made. Right. He took bread and, and blessed it. And blessed it. And, and break it. Then he broke it. And gave it All to right, Catholics, get this. That's right. That's right. He did what? Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it. No, he just took it and put it in a tongue hole. Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it. Amen. Thank you, thanks. Brothers, from CJ to Brother Bo, former line out here, you brothers, just get in line. Mm -hmm. 
Get behind and see you. I'm going to show you the way the Catholics do it. Right. What did Jesus do? Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it. Now, and the Catholics don't break it. No. no. They just take it. Come on, brother. Come up. Whole week or so. Put it in his mouth. <laughs> Nothing getting broken. Nothing That's broken. right. Violet God's law. That's right. Now, when you don't break the bread, you don't break it. You are actually ignoring mm. Jesus suffering. That's, That's right. right. That's right too. The breaking of the bread represents the pain. Amen. That's right. That he went through. That's, That's right. right. Listen to what he said. Jesus took bread. Jesus took bread and blessed, and it, blessed it and break it and break it and gave and it, gave it to, the disciples, to the disciples and said, "Take and said, take eat. Why? This is my body. This is my body. That's it. This is my body that. And one another place he said, "This is my body that was broken, broken for you, broken for you." That's right. Listen at this. Take eat. This is my body. This is my body. And and he took the cup. He took the tray of glasses. He took the cup. He took the tray of bar shot glasses. He took the cup. He took the whiskey shot glasses. He took the cup. All right. Amen. All right. That's right. You got that tray of glasses and all you church drunks. Amen. That's right. Ignore this. God can't wait to get it. Just licking your lips. Can't wait. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Not huh? That's right. You understand? Amen. Get what I'm telling you. He took the cup. He took the what? The cup. The cup. The, the cup. cup. That's it. Cup. Cup. C U P. That's right. Not C U P S. The cup. The, the cup. cup. That's yeah. it. What? And gave thanks. Two prayers was made. Two Amen. Prayers. Over the bread first. That's right. Then over the wine. Over the wine. Tell said, I didn't say you use wine. The prophet prophesied what the Lord will use. In Psalm 75 and at verse 8. What is it? For in the hand of the Lord. In the hand of the Lord. There is a cup. There is. What? For in the hand of the Lord. There is some shot glasses. There is a cup. In the hand of the Lord, there is a tray of shot glasses. In the hand of the Lord, there is a cup. Then there is a tray of shot glasses. There is a cup. A cup. In the hand of the Lord, there is a cup. A cup. And what? And the wine. Cup. And the grape juice. And the wine. The Kool-Aid. The wine. The tang. The wine. The Nestle Quick. The wine. <laughs> the wine is what? Is red. No substitute. That's right. Not Welch's grape juice. <laughs> That's right. Not grape Kool-Aid. Amen. Wine. You don't find nowhere where the Lord held the cup in his hand mm -hmm. other than when he was about to serve the Lord's Supper. That's right. That's when it was fulfilled. That's right. right. All right, let's go back now. Come on. Back in Matthew 26 and verse 27. Real quick. And he took the cup and gave thanks. And? And gave it to them, saying, drink ye all of it. Drink what? Drink ye all of it. All right. Amen. Drink now, in another place, he said, divide it. Divide it among yourselves. Among yourselves. Among yourselves. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That means... I know many of you preachers say, well, that means that you just can take a container of wine and pour it in all the little liquor shot glasses, and yeah. that's how it's divided because it's impossible to take one cup and divide it. Divide it among yourselves just simply means share it among share. yourselves. That's all. That's all that is. That's right. You know how you used to do when you was out there on the corner with that bottle of whiskey? That's <laughs> right. Hey, that, that quarter liquor? That's you right. You had it in that brown paper <laughs> bag, and you drunk, and... He drunk and he drunk and he drunk. What was your doing? Dividing it. Dividing it. Among yourself. That's right. And when you fell into one was dividing it a little too much, <laughs> That's right. you took it from him. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. <laughs> All right, let's get the Apostle Paul. And I also want to get the scripture mm -hmm. where he said the communion of the Lord. Right. All right, let's get that. First and First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 22. Listen. What? What? Have you not houses to eat and to drink in? Now the Apostle Paul going to make a comparison between eating your natural food versus taking the Lord's Supper. That's right. All right. Have you not houses to eat and to drink in? Yes. Or despise ye the church despise of God? Despise ye God house. And shame them that have not. Uh -huh. What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I received of the Lord. That which also I delivered unto you. Mm -hmm. That the Lord Jesus the same night. The same. Hold it. Amen. All you churches that take the Lord's Supper. Listen, the word supper alone don't mean morning. That's, That's right. right. That's right. He didn't say take the Lord breakfast. No, no. No, he didn't. No, no. The Lord lunch. No, no. <laughs> That's right. The Lord's brunch. The Lord's brunch. That's right. Huh? No, That's no. right. He didn't say the Lord's snack. No, no. no. no, no, no. <laughs> We're going to take the Lord's snack. That's, That's right. right. Not that. No, no. Amen. Glory to God. That, Listen at this. That the Lord Jesus the same night. 
Same night. In which he was betrayed. What did he do that night? Took bread. You had the business taking communion in the morning. That's right. Or in the afternoon. Same That's night. Right. It's a nighttime thing. That's Amen. Right. Must be done. We only got too many people. I don't care. That's right. That ain't gonna, God ain't going to change this no, for you. No. No way. Well, we're in a rush. Then leave. That's right. Amen. He ain't going to change this for you. No, he won't. Amen. When you don't do it right, Amen. you despise the church of God. That's right. Listen. That the Lord Jesus, the same night. The same night. In which he was betrayed, took bread. Took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. He broke it. And said, take, eat, this is my body. This is my body. Which is broken for which you. Which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. You do this. When you do this, you remember me. So you better, if you're going to remember me, you better be careful in what you're doing. That's right. And how you do it. That's right. Right. You're remembering Amen. him. That's right. Remembering what he went through. Remember the suffering and the pain that he endured. Amen. Just to get our hard heads right. That's right. That's right. Come on. After the same manner also, he took the cup. Uh-oh, the apostles taught the same thing? Mm -hmm. After the same manner also, mm -hmm. he took the cup. He took the cup. When he had supped. When he supped. When he had supped. You see, Jesus supped first. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right, sir. Then gave it to them. That's sup, right. Sup, sup, sup. Not sup. drank it. <laughs> Amen. Sup. Not. Sup. <laughs> 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 Amen. Right. Ah. <laughs> Amen. No. Sup, sup. Uh, no. Right. no. Not no. that. No, no. Sup. Sup. Amen. See, you, when you, you get drunk at home. Drunk at home. That's, that's right. what you folk do. That's right. Well, that's, that's right. what some of you do. Some of you get drunk in church. That's right. To prove that you're not taking the right, you look at many of you Catholic priests, you in the AA. That's right. That's right. The Alcohol Anonymous. You know you, you just taking too much. Too much. Didn't read this. You didn't read this. After the same and if you did read it, well, you ignored it. That's right. That's right. Come on, son. After the same manner also, he took the cup mm -hmm. when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Yes. This do ye as oft as you drink it. All right, now, hold it. Mm -hmm. He says, As oft as you do it. As oft mm -hmm. as you do it. You do what? In remembrance of me. Now, as oft as you do it, not giving you a designated time to do it. That's no. Right. So you preachers say, well, that means I got to do it every Sunday. No, it says as off. As I can off. take it on Monday. That's right. That's right. I can take it Wednesday. That's Amen. Right. I can take it Thursday. That's right. It says as off. As off. You right. said it got to be taken every Sunday. Liar. That's a lie. It got to be taken every first Sunday. Liar. That's right. The book plainly says. As oft as you drink. And Jesus taught us exact exactly. no more That's right, than what's the point of That's right. He was betrayed that night. For him to be betrayed at night, it was served at night. That's right. Huh? That's right. As yeah. oft as oft as you drink it. As you do it. Well, you got to have it every Sunday. All right. Mm -hmm. Show me where the apostles took it every Sunday. Amen. They were traveling. That's right. And believe me, they was traveling all over the place. That's right. Show me where the apostles took it every Sunday. Right. Show me where the apostles even took it every month. That's, That's right. right. That's right, sir. Excellent. Sir. You never thought of that, did you? That's true. Amen. Right. And they were God called and God sent. That's you don't even read where they took it every month. No, 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 no you don't. They understood the danger of it. That's right. And don't go tell me, well, they had to do it every month. Why? Why? Jesus didn't teach him that. No, he didn't. He just says, as often. As often. What do you mean? As often as you do it. That's right. Whenever you do it. That's it. Amen. Show forth my suffering. That's right. Be quick. For as often Amen. as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. All right. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat whosoever. this bread. Eat this bread whosoever. and drink this whosoever. cup. Whosoever. 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 Eat this bread. Jesus' body. That's right. That's right. Whosoever, whosoever shall eat, eat this bread. Jesus body. That's right. The bread represent his body. That's right. Whosoever That's right. eat this bread. And drink this cup of the and Lord. And drink this cup of the Lord. Unworthingly. And you ain't right and know you ain't right and ain't trying to get right. Shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. You will be guilty. Guilty. Of handling this body wrong. That's right. Guilty, sir. So what? But let a man examine himself. Oh God. Amen. Those that don't have the Holy Ghost should not take it. No. no. And those that do have the Holy Ghost should not rush and take it either. That's right. That's right sir. That's I advise you by the advice of Scripture. But let a man examine himself. Check yourself out. Check yourself out. And so let him eat of that bread. Examine himself first. First. Mm -hmm. 
That's right. That's right. Hmm? Amen. That's right. Amen. Examine yourself first. For, amen. Don't worry about examining nobody else. No, himself. Examine yourself first. That's, that's right. right. Amen. That's right. I don't care how much you're speaking and shaking. No, that's right. Examine yourself first. That's right. Yourself. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Amen. So hear what the book says. But let a man examine himself. Let a man. Hmm. It didn't say for you to sit back. Hmm. Why he taking it? No. Hmm. Right. Why is she taking it? That's right. Look at yourself and say, hmm, why am I taking it? That's right. <laughs> That's exactly. right. Yeah? Exactly. Amen. Amen. Let a man examine himself. Himself. Yes. And so let him eat of that bread. When you examine yourself and be honest in your examination and don't cheat. That's right. right. That's right. And then let a man eat of that bread and, and drink of that cup. Drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy. What happened? Eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. Here's the danger. Here's the danger. Amen. Here's the danger. Amen. Here's the danger. Oh yeah. Are you eating or taking the Lord's Supper? Mm -hmm. You believe in women preachers? Preachers. You eat and drink damnation. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Are you taking the Lord's Supper? Man. Mm -hmm. And you believe you can divorce? Amen. Amen. Damnation. And then you're eating it at the hands. Mm -hmm. Of a preacher that condone divorce. That's right. Oh. Damnation. damnation to himself. He didn't drink damnation. That's Amen. Right. Damnation. So damnation. damnation. Hey, you eating the Lord's Supper? Mm -hmm. And the preacher fellowship. Amen. Yeah. With false prophets. Amen. That are unbelievers. That's Amen. Right. Amen. They ain't drank damnation. Damnation. Because yeah. the God of heaven said, hath no fellowship. No fellowship. Didn't they say so? That's, That's right. right. No fellowship. With the unfruitful workers of darkness. That's right. Hmm? He that eateth and drinketh unworthy. He that eat and drink. Unworthy. You know you got all that hatred in your heart? That's right. Yeah. You. Unworthy. That's right. You ain't repentant for your wrong. Amen. That's right. Excellent. You know you got all that hatred in your heart towards him, towards her, towards them. That's right. That's right. Unworthy. 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 You know you're backbiting and lying. Amen. Amen. He that eateth and drinketh unworthily. What happened? Eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. And as a result, not discerning the Lord's body. What happened? For this cause, many are weak. Hold it. The weakness affects you two ways. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. Physically and spiritually. That's right. Amen. Run to the doctor, they don't know what's wrong with you. That's true. Praying and nothing's moving. Nothing's moving. That's right. For this cause, many are weak. Many are weak. Many. Spiritually got all messed up now. So messed up, don't want to go to church now. That's, That's right. true. The Lord suffered didn't help them and worked against them. Yes. Lord. Damnation, damnation. Why? Damnation has set upon them now. That's right. That's why going to church now don't mean nothing to them no more. Why? Right. They don't have that drive, that zeal. That's they right. stay home now and don't phase them. Right. Damnation has set upon them. That's, That's right. right. So if damnation set upon right. you, you act according to what's on you. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. <laughs> For That's this right. I was faithful in coming to church. That's right. Now, I don't have that job no more. Right. You, didn't examine yourself. you didn't examine yourself. That's right. That's true. Glory to God. Amen. What did the book say? For this cause, many are weak. Weak. And sickly among you. Sick. Sick. Running back and forth to the doctor, trying to figure out what's wrong. Yeah. They don't know. Amen. Sickly. You handled the body wrong. That's right. Handle the body of the Messiah wrong. Yeah, Amen. Man. You better get this. That's right. Come on. Many are weak and sickly among you. And what else? And many sleep. Dead. Yes, Gone. On your way out. Gone. On your way out. That's right. Dying. Will Amen. die. Die. So no. We don't advise people. No. Run quickly and take the Lord's Supper. No. You don't have the Holy Ghost? No. Amen. You do have it? Slow. Be slow about it. That's right. Are you listening? That's Amen. right. Everybody pay attention. Don't worry about all the firecrackers. Don't worry about that. Amen. Amen. There's going to be some firecrackers <laughs> being <laughs> popping off. That's <laughs> real. Glory that God went heaven and earth pass away. That's right. Great noise. With a great noise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Amen. And it's going to be the day of the Lord. That's Amen. Right. One scripture call it the acceptable year of the Lord. That's right. Amen. All right, come on, Dan. Uh, this letter is on the subject of illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants. Illegal All right. Immigrants. All right. This person says, since your temple is in Pennsylvania, what is your position on the mayor of Hazleton, Pennsylvania, and his assault on the Hispanics of that community? What's your opinion? I believe the mayor wanted to try to make it law or something, didn't he? Mm -hmm. To send all Hispanic brothers and sisters back mm -hmm. where they come from, get them out of the country. Mm -hmm. They wanted to do the same thing the black folk do. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's true. They wanted to send all of us back to Africa. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> they took the land of the Indians. Mm -hmm. So the mayor, the way he feels, is an old attitude. Yeah. I said that's the behavior of an old bigot. That's right. Amen. Why would a man hmm. want to get rid of an ethnic group mm -hmm. out of a country as if his ethnic group is so much better? Amen. That's like saying we belong here. And you don't. Who you think you are, you bigot? That's right. Bigot truth. Bigot Now let's get it wrong. Amen. One man said that history is best qualified to reward all research. Amen. 99.9 .9 of you companies mm -hmm. that have been in existence for 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years, Amen. you got rich. That's right. Amen. Because of the black man. That's right. That's the truth of it. That's right. He plows your fields. Yeah. He worked in your crops. Amen. He cropped your tobacco. Mm -hmm. He picked your cotton from sun down to sun up. That's right. right. Didn't have a vacation. That's no. Right. Pick cotton and pick tobacco and nurse your babies. Amen. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Some of your wives was too lazy hmm. to take care of their own child. That's right. After the child came out the womb, they laid it in the lap of madman. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> After the truth of it. Amen. That's the truth of it. That's right. Now, when I preached this, they would call it racism. No, it's true. No. Check your history. That's right. You don't hate black folk much as you act. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> How can you hate a racist and eat their food? That's right. That's dangerous. That's foolish. That's right. You had your babies and then you gave it to mammy. Amen. <laughs> then the woman whom the slave master did not respect. That's right. They respect her, Breastfed Hello. his wife's baby. That's true. Breastfed his wife's son. Amen. Breastfed his wife's daughter. Mm -hmm. history, history. Then cooked the food. My Lord. It's known history. That's right. That's right. Cooked the food. Yeah. Plowed the fields until he died. Oh, yeah. So, why would a mayor want to send all my Hispanic family? Hmm. To where they come from. Mm -hmm. Let the mayor, hey mayor, where, where, what part of Jersey are you from? Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Hazleton, Pennsylvania? Go back where you came from. Thank you, immigrants. That's what you want to do. That's right. Go back where you came from. That's right. Everybody can tell me. See, they, they claim that, you see, America and you politicians are hypocrites. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Every race that's not like you, mm -hmm. you like to use and abuse. Oh, yeah. Like now, our Hispanic brothers and sisters, look at what they're going through. What many black brothers and sisters have been going through for years. That's right. That's right. Cheap labor. That's right. Cheap labor. They don't want to put out, they don't want to pay that man 20 and $30 an hour no more. Oh, no. But somebody that come along and do the same job, $5. Mm -hmm. that's right. That's right. Work from sun up. The sundown. Mm -hmm. So what we say about the so-called immigrants, I mean, why all these other, why people of color mm -hmm. cannot be looked at as simply human beings? 
Have you noticed that? Yeah. People of color always got to have different titles by everybody else. That's right. Minority. That's right. Immigrant. That's right. Colored. Colored. That's right. Colored. Colored. Colored, sir. Hmm? That's right. Black. Nigger. 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 <laughs> Negro. 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 Which is a little nigger that grows. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Negro. Negro. He start out knee high. Knee high. A knee high, <laughs> a knee high nigger, then he grew. <laughs> Negro. <laughs> Then after that, he went back to black mm -hmm. <laughs> and then to Afro-American. And he's still called minority. That's right. Always in labels. Why is it that he just can't be called a human being? Yeah. What's the problem? That's right, man. That's right. This is the hypocrisy of America. When a black man rapes somebody, there was a black man that raped them. If a white man raped them. Well, the man, he raped her. Mm -hmm. That's it. Dr. Truth, don't mention no color. That's right. And the woman got raped by the man. That's right. And he fled away. Mm -hmm. A black man raped her. And yes, the black man, he had on an orange jacket and a black <laughs> That's <right>. hat. <laughs> That's the truth. That's the mentality of America. That's true. America is a rape. My viewers, you may not like what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's so true. It's true. Truth of God. Sir. I can walk in a department store. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Certainly, I can walk in a department store, mm -hmm. have on a golf cap backward, backwards, mm -hmm. yeah. shades, yeah. and just go and I'm looking through the section where some sweaters are. Mm -hmm. Can't find my size, so I'm pulling out different sweaters and moving them. Right. Before you know it, you hear the Indigon. Uh, cold three. <laughs> <laughs> cold three. Amen. Then you have a bunch of folk come around you like they're shopping too. That's right. That's right. They ain't doing niggas sitting there fooling around. That's right. Looking at you. Yeah. Responding to cold three. That's right. All right, this. Amen. Then let me put some flour on my face. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Certainly. Oh, yeah. Change my complexion. Mm -hmm. I can sit and ramble through the sweaters all day, no cold to come across. No. <laughs> That's the mentality. bigot mentality yeah. of America. Not all my white brothers and sisters are weak like this. No. no, no. no. But no. it is an old Stereotype. sickness. That's right. That have been embedded in America and spread it through the use of the church. That's right. true. That's right. That's right. Certainly. That's right. One of the greatest methods the church used Amen. to make my white brothers feel superior and my black brothers feel inferior is artwork. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's true. You took a painting of someone supposed to be Jesus. Amen. You gave him the hippie look. That's, That's right. right. That's right, sir. And got him standing there. I'm standing. <laughs> Amen. You know, no, they never make Jesus look masculine. No. That's right. Never just looking at you. No. That's right. <laughs> He's always. Weak, timid. That's right. Great. When you see pictures of him supposed to ascending into the heavens, right. never just going up. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he got a pole. Got a pole. You know, there's some ladies very feminine. You know, they, they can stand and talk and they'll bend that leg in. That's, That's right. That's the way they always make them paintings of the ascension. That's right. <laughs> That's true. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right, Pop. That's right. Very timid looking. Sir. That's true. Stereotypes. Stereotypes. Jesus ain't no faggot. No, no. Stop making him act like one. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother, man. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jesus, I read about believing revolution. Oh, yeah. 
He tore down the system. Amen. He preached against the system. That's right. He didn't. He even turned over the money exchanges. That's right. He didn't come there opposing. No, he didn't. No, we didn't. Oh no. Upset everything. Sir. When you take the Lord's supper the wrong way, Amen. You're liable to die from taking it the wrong way. That's right. All right. Give me a few more questions, real quick. And I'll be out your way. We can get some more scripture. Come on, let's get some more questions real fast so we can die. This person says, Dear Pastor Jennings, All right. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I am so thankful that God has sent an apostle that preaches the truth of God's will all the way. Mm -hmm. I first heard you on TV on Sunday morning. I was taken. I was taken. You just, I was so taken. You just don't find churches like this one anymore. That is in that the truth. Amen. Uh -huh. My eyes have truly come open to God's word. Wonderful. Which I've been watching since I've been watching you. I also go to the internet to get more of this excellent teaching. Glory to God, this person says. Glory to God. I am from Raleigh, North Carolina. Wonderful. I have tried to reach the contact person you have listed on the internet, but the number is not working. All right. It is possible. Is it possible for someone to send me some information concerning the church or someone that I can talk to? Yes, we we'll have someone to get right in contact with you, but we're glad to tell the cast is doing good in Raleigh. Amen. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think it's on Sunday morning now. Amen. Down there in Raleigh and also being seen in Durham. That's Amen. all that. That's enough of that. All right, come on, let's get some more scripture, then we'll knock off. Uh, open the book of scripture anywhere. anywhere. I don't care where you go. It's all good. Isaiah. And, and we can get busy. Amen. Amen. It's all good. It's a blessing. Think of it. Mm. Ten more minutes before 2008. Mm. Coming from one year with the truth of God and going to another year with a still opportunity by God's mercy to get into the kingdom of God. Give me Titus 3 and 3. Titus. That's what comes to mind. Amen. Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. Let's talk about the way we were. Amen. What is it? For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Sometimes foolish. All right, viewer. Oh, yeah. And you that are here. Mm -hmm. All of us can bear witness to this, can't we? Amen. Were we sometimes foolish? Sometimes foolish. Out there like a fool and partying all night, mm -hmm. taking drugs to stay up and dance. That's right. If you couldn't dance, That's you went right. to a party anyway. Amen. Dressing like a fool. Dressing like a fool. Want to look like Superfly. That's right. Platform shoes with the fish in the heel. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Those were the days. And it's all back now, too. Yeah. Men and women out in the street walking. Mm -hmm. Woman may be 4'4, four, four. by the time she put her shoes on, six feet. <laughs> Elevated high. Amen. Viva, the book says. You was a fool, but are you still a fool? Amen. Some of you looking at me now, you're lighting up your cigarette. What for? Yeah. Put that cigarette out. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You smoke, you drink. And then when you get on your deathbed, you want to call for a priest, and he smoke, and he drink. That's right. That's right. We ourselves were sometimes foolish. foolish. When you look how foolish you were, mm -hmm. wrapping a tube around your arm, making your vein come up, injecting the stuff in you. Yeah. What were you? Foolish. Smoking pack after pack after pack of cigarettes. Amen. What were you? Foolish. Selling crack, selling dope, mm -hmm. just to make a quick buck. Amen. What were you? Foolish. Standing out on the corners of your neighborhood, selling your body to any and every two-legged, dirty, filthy, no-good dog that come along. Amen. Fool what were you? Foolish. Very foolish. Foolish. Glory to God. That foolish covered a wide territory. Oh, yes. Walking around wearing wigs, what were you? Foolish. <laughs> That's right. Bridget. Old men with gray eyebrows in a jet black 
Indian straight hair toupee. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What is it? Foolish. Amen. Old women. 60s and 70s and 80s, ankle chain on, and a skirt, the length of my jacket, with a split in the front. That's right. With four inch heels. That's right. Leaning over. Leaning over. <laughs> Lord, take God. Amen. What is it? Foolish. Are <laughs> oh, you listening to the old troublemaker? That's right. Got your eyebrow pencil, yeah. fake eyelashes. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Grown men now want to wear earrings. That's right. What are they? Foolish. Mm. Grown, men Grown men with two earrings. You can turn on TBN and find their TBN preachers up in the pulpit, big old earring in his ear, and a ponytail. My Lord. Grown men with a, imagine me with a ponytail. Grown men. Can you imagine me with a ponytail? (laughs) A rubber band behind my bed, behind my head, with a little poof. (laughs) That's right. A real man don't want that. No. No, no. We ourselves were sometimes foolish. Hey, you a man kissing a man? What were you? Foolish. Hey, you a man marrying a man? What are you? Foolish. You know that's a fool. Oh, yeah. My God, as I often say, when you can't do wrong, that's the right. right way. Right way. Amen. I didn't say wrong is right. No. I didn't say that. I didn't say wrong is right. No, no. But there's a right way to do wrong. Do wrong. And there's a wrong way to do the wrong. That's right. That's right. Certainly. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I'm going to smoke and smoke right and get cancer right, <laughs> I have to inhale the part where the filter is. That's right. Now, it'll be mighty stupid. I'm holding a cigarette and I'm putting the part that's lit in my mouth and it's trying to figure out why I keep getting burnt. That's right. I'm doing wrong, wrong the wrong way. That's right. If I do it the right way, I'm going to get cancer. That's right. <laughs> if you're going to have fornication and do sin the right way, right way, even though it's wrong, but if you do it the right way, you won't have two men. No, no way. No. No, no. When you had two men, where were you? Foolish. Listen to me, New York. Amen. What's that area in New York that's known to be a hangout for gays? What is it called? Greenwich Village? Greenwich Village. Huh. The village people. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Amen. I will never stop preaching this. Never, never stop. Too much sugar in the air. That's right. Amen. That's right. Too much sugar. Sugar. I had men follow me and got upset and left. They said I preach against gays too much. Lord. He was somebody's sugar baby. Amen. As I often say, a man that's a real man ain't got no problem with this type of preaching. No. No, no. Ain't got no problem with it. We ourselves were sometimes foolish. What else? Disobedient. Uh oh. That got all of us. All of us. All of us were disobedient. Oh, yeah. It is written, you'll reap what you sow. And some of the things we are reaping now is a result of what we sowed years ago. That's right. Some things we are reaping now is a result of what we, we've had, a decision we made. That's right. Five, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. And we're reaping it now. Now. Amen. Huh? Amen. And if we can go back, we'll go back and change it. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. We'll rewind. We'll rewind and do it, but you can't do it. No. You're just going to learn from your past and correct the present and go on to the future. That's right. Huh? That's right. Holy Book says what? Disobedient. 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 Many of the children today disobedient to their parents. Oh, yeah. Parents can't tell these children today nothing. Amen. 
And some of you mothers, the reason why you can't tell your children nothing, you're just as worse as your child. That's right. You got about 30 boys, you got about 29. Amen. You sleep with your daughter's boyfriend. I marvel at the mother. Yeah. And I'm talking to some of my relatives. Mm -hmm. You watching me. Amen. Some of you my in-laws. Mm -hmm. I marvel at the mother of any children yeah. that I let your daughter's boyfriend mm -hmm. live with you. Yeah. Amen. You're no good as a mother. Yeah. Amen. Now you're a poor excuse as a mother. Yeah. Amen. You're the mother, and you will let your daughter's boyfriend live there. You're the mother, you will let your daughter's boyfriend spend the night. My Lord. You're incompetent yeah. as a mother. That's right. That's right. But society changed now. Yeah. I God, when I was young, coming up, and I went to visit my wife, and I ain't that old. Mm -hmm. Her mother told me straight up. She said, what's your name again? I said, Gino, ma'am. She said, Gino, you got to go. <laughs> sure, that's what she told me. I met my wife a year after her father passed. So I never met her father. Mm -hmm. My God, but I, I heard a lot about her. He was a tough cookie. Mm -hmm. And her mother, oh, I got a chance to meet for many years. Another tough cookie. Didn't play. Very strict, very firm. So where most men would be offended right. when a mother said you got to go, when she told me that, I felt good. Amen. Because it made me realize the type of woman she was. Right. She said, Gino, you got to go. I don't allow boys in my house when I'm not here. Amen. Now. In today's modern society, where mom is leaving, huh. and their daughter can be no more than 16 or 17. You know what the mothers will say today? Mm -hmm. Now look, y'all lock up before you leave now. I'm yeah, ready, right. to go. ready to go. Y'all have a good time. Have a good time. Don't have a good Leave the dishes there. I'll wash them when I come back. <laughs> That's right. Tell him, make yourself at home. Make full use of the house. That's true. Make full proof of your ministry. <laughs> Amen. The holy book says what? For we ourselves also were sometimes fools. What else? Disobedient. What else? Deceived. 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 All of us been deceived by somebody. Oh yeah. Amen. Some of us are still being deceived by somebody. That's right. Thank God 2008 is here. Ain't that a blessing? You know, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to be in an ark of safety. Ain't got to be out there acting like a fool. Many of you are watching now. You went partying over the New Year. Every year you do the same thing. An irresponsible fool. Amen. Coming in the house all drunk and sloppy. They want to fight your wife and cuss her out. That's right. That's right. Yeah, she's trying to serve God. You want to slap her around like a drunken fool. Amen. Then the moment you get sick. Huh. Uh, baby, pray. pray. Pray, baby. <laughs> That's right. Babe, I need you to pray for me. That's right. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Amen. You know you're on your way to hell. No. Mm -hmm. You know you are. That's right. Thank God have mercy on the old drunk. Give him strength. Amen. And besides serving God, he go right back doing the same thing, drinking again. That's right. Some of you women never touch liquor until you got involved with the wrong man. Wrong man. That's true. Some of you men never touch liquor until you got involved with some crazy woman. Amen. My God, by the time she was done with you, you became an alcoholic. Yeah. 
Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Real quick. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Sometimes foolish. Disobedient. Hard head. Deceived. Deceived. Serving divers. You're still lusts. being deceived. deceived. Serving divers lust. And pleasure. Serving divers lust. Oh. All kind of lust. Atlantic City, Las Vegas, Nevada, playing the number, shooting pool. Yeah. Playing crap. The shooting divers crap. Divers lust. Divers lust, all kind of lust. Kind what of would a saint go to Las Vegas, Nevada for vacation for? <laughs> That's right. Want to spend the night in the pink flamingo. <laughs> Why? Why? Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I want to go down to the beach. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Just be sure you're dressed. That's right. Sir. That's right. That's right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Can't wear a bikini. No way. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't walk out there in the Bahamas in a bikini. That's right. Can't do that. Oh, no. Amen. 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 Can't go to the nude beach. No way. <laughs> My Lord. Oh, they got a man you sit on a nude beach speaking in town. <laughs> Jumping and shouting. Jumping and shouting. Just shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nigga, shaking. Oh, <laughs> <Lord laughs> <of> God. <laughs> what did it say? Serving divers, <laughs> lusts, and pleasures. Serving divers, lusts, and pleasures. Living in malice. Living in what? In malice. And what else? And envy. Oh, some folk live in jealousy. Living. Living. I mean, they live That's and true. breathe That's jealousy. That's right. You get a new car, they're jealous of you. You get a house, they're jealous of you. you. Get a new suit of clothing, they're jealous of you. Jealous over a hat, a <laughs> pocketbook, right. a scarf, a wallet, a suit, a tie. When you get that messed up, something ain't working right up there. You in church for the wrong reasons. That's right. Now you ain't in here for God. No. When you ain't here for God, you ain't worried about nothing when nobody got it on. That's You're right. looking at you and God. Amen. Huh? Amen. That's what it's about. You and God. That's right. Wonderful. What? Living in malice and envy. When a person got jealousy in you, in them, give it it'll come out. Yes, it will. Even if they come out sarcastically. That's right. You know, they may say it sarcastically, right. and so you can think they're joking, but they mean what they, they mean say. What they, say. they mean what they're saying. Amen. That's true. Uh, Are you listening? Amen. What? Living in malice and envy. Living in malice. Hmm. Living, Living and envy. envy. And as a result of that, what were they? Hateful. Hateful. And hating one another. Hate you for no reason. Amen. Amen. That's true. Hateful. Hateful. Hate what you have. Hate the way you look. Hate the way you walk. Like the churches today, many of them hate the standard that we take. That's right. That's hate true. it because we hold God's standard. Amen. And here you got folk claim to hold God's standard and quick to call wicked unbelievers my brothers yeah. and my sisters. We all one. No, we all not. No way. If you're not one with God, you're not one with God's people. That's right. But we all brothers. No, you're not. No, you're not. If you're not one with God, you're not one with God's people. That's right. That's right. Amen. If this man all of a sudden changed mm -hmm. and believe in divorce, he ain't my brother. No, no. No, he's not my brother. No way. This man changed Change. and stopped believing in women preachers. He ain't my brother. That's right. He was my brother. That's right. You ain't my brother. That's right. When you start denouncing anything that's truth, you're not my brother. That's brother. Amen. Because the real Holy Ghost don't fight what's holy. That's right. Huh? Holy Ghost don't fight what's holy. Amen. Even if the word of God condemn me, yeah. because I got the Holy Ghost, yeah. I got to say amen to it. Amen. Amen. 
No fight, no rejection. I got the bow to it. That's right. That's true. That God you believe in rebounding your voice I ain't sitting around singing and clapping in your church. No, I'm not doing that. No, tomorrow, some ain't it wonderful that ain't we wonderful. can come fellowship with what? Amen. What fellowship have light with darkness? darkness? We got to do this thing like God said it. That's right. That's right. My God, I'm not bowing to no one but to the Most High. Amen. What if God says what? Hateful. Hateful? And hating one another. Oh, God, they hate you for standing for what's right. Yes, they will. Hate you. That's true. Use you and abuse you because they hate you. Yeah. Hmm? Amen. You want to find out whether a person hates you? Just wait. Yeah. A person that see it may tell you. Mm -hmm. You may not see it. Give it time. That's right. Circum circumstances, God would allow circumstances to be created where it will manifest itself, and the one that been telling you won't have to tell you nothing. That's right. It'll manifest itself. That's right. That's true. You'll find yourself. <laughs> no, you'll withdraw that statement. That's my friend. Yeah. God's got the way some of these things treat you that claim they're a friend. You, you may do better with enemies. That's right. That's true. Are you listening? Amen. The holy book says what? Hateful. Hateful. And hating one another. Hating one another. But after that. After that. The kindness the and kindness love of God our Savior. And the love of God our Savior Lord appeared. Man appeared not by works of righteousness which we have done. But what? But according to his mercy he saved us. What did he do? By the washing of regeneration. I told you you're going to be baptized. That's right. Yes, it was according to his mercy he saved us. How? By the washing of regeneration. And the renewing. Of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Amen. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Get right with God and do it now. Get right with God. He will get down. Well, yes, get Everybody else again. Yes, yes.
want everybody to do. Get right with him. Strive to stay right with him. Thank God for bringing us into a new year. All praises is due unto God. God certainly is good unto us. Glory to God. One of the greatest days of our life is when God turned us from darkness to light, from the power of Satan unto God. We have a lot to thank God for. It's been a good two-day meeting, brothers and sisters. With the help of God, we look for this year, as always, to do more work than the year before. And so far, God has been blessing us to do exactly that. More work each year as souls of men and women repent around the world and going down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ and receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost with a strong desire of wanting to get right people don't send us letters from around the world many times for nothing people want to know they want information because many want to do better all of us to strive to go forward, not backward. Strive to go forward. Don't let it be a phase of sincerity. For some folk, it's a phase. What do you mean? It isn't something that's from the heart. It's just a phase as a result of a good meeting. That's what you don't want. To be right with God, to do it properly, it must be from in here. Are you listening? Got to come from the inside. Don't put nothing in front of him. There's nothing equal to him. There's nothing greater than him. There ain't nothing better than him either. Anything you get, don't grip it like you're scared to lose it. Other than God himself. That's one way or the other, you're going to lose it, even if it's in death. Negative, we came into the world. Negative, we shall return. I'm glad for all the ministers that are here and those that couldn't make it. We heard from the brothers from the West Coast and some from the Midwest and some from the foreign countries. And we thank God for all of them. We're glad for the work in India. We're glad for the work in the Caribbean. We're glad for Europe. We're glad for the Philippines. We're glad for Africa and India. And it just keeps Growing and the zeal of the Lord of hosts, the book says, shall perform this. We thank God for all of you. This sunny is the first Sunday, so God willing, I'll be here in Philadelphia. And I believe the week after that, I'll be in Fredericksburg. And the week after that, I'll be back in Newport News. And then in February, we will get ready to go to India for the South Indian Holy Convocation. And I believe by the time we get back, God willing, we will have over 30 churches in the South Indian area. That's a blessing, isn't it? I do hope and pray that there be some brothers traveling with us to India. I do hope and pray some brothers do travel with us to India. All the so 2008, the month of October, we will be having, God willing, a three-country tour in West Africa. We have been in Sierra Leone, West Africa, also uh, Liberia, 
and then also, God willing, Nigeria. Uh, so we may be gone for about two weeks or maybe a week and a half. But I do hope brothers, brothers, be prepared to go with us on this three-country tour. That's in the month of October. You will be getting the dates in a matter of a week or two. But we'll be in Nigeria and also Sierra Leone, West Africa, and also Liberia. If any brothers want to go, and if there's any auxiliaries who want to sponsor brothers uh, who may not have all the money, if you want to go, I advise you to start saving now. Don't just sit back and wait. And wait and do nothing. No. Start saving now. And if there's any auxiliaries who want to sponsor, it's best you start working on whatever you want to do now. You know, because I mean, if I have to make the trip by myself, I will. But I would like to have some companions in travel. That'd be all right. I would love to have some brothers. You know, so when we make the tour to Africa, just brothers. I'm taking no women, just brothers. It's taking brothers. Brothers only. We going to Africa. Brothers. I guess want to take brothers. It'll be a three country tour and it'll be a good experience. That way you can drink up the cup that I drank up. Be baptized in the baptism that I'm baptized with. And see what it's like not to be able to have a meal every day. See what it's like to endure. All because you love the soul of people. That's it. All because you love the soul of people. See what it's like not to be able to eat a meal. When I was in Sierra Leone, my whole trip didn't have a meal. Just had them meal bars and Rick found some spam and unleavened bread. I felt like I was eating a shoebox. And I don't eat spam, but brother, I spammed it that day. <laughs> yes, I did. I had to laugh the way he brought the spam up. The spam up. Told me he found a can of spam, and I said, "Man, I don't eat no spam." He said, "You better eat something." He said, "Don't need for you to go talk that what you don't eat now." I said, all right, well, go to take it to the kitchen and ask them to burn it for us. He said, you think they will? I said, yeah, they probably will. So they sliced it and, you know, burnt it for us, give us some type of frying pan flavor. Rick brought it up. You know how they bring you room service and have the big thing on top of your plate? Big old tray, a big tray. Big old thing on there, took it off. Burnt spam. <laughs> but brother, when I put that spam, glory to God. When I put that spam in right in the center of that unleavened bread, hallelujah. <laughs> when I bit into it, I looked at Rick, I was like, mmm. <laughs> it felt good. But that's something that we just couldn't eat every day. As hungry as I was, my God, I felt like I had a mouthful of sand. I got moved that plate around and whatnot. They had the nerve to even put a little leaf next to the span. <laughs> Want to decorate it for you. But when I consider there are places less fortunate than you, for you to really appreciate and value what you have, you need to leave America. And knowing we have brothers and sisters that's strongly stricken in poverty. Strongly stricken in, when I say poverty, I mean poverty. I went inside one of the minister's house in India and it was one bed made out of wood with no mattress. One bed made out of wood with no mattress with five kids. And the house was smaller. The whole house was smaller than the outreach office. Kids barefooted, clothes hanging off of them. This is why we work not just in word, but also in deed to try to help our less fortunate brothers and sisters. A lot of people don't come because they want something. Some people just downright in need. But this is why we work hard to try to help 
Whenever we go to India, it costs them to try to rent things. A lot of time they can't afford it. Anytime it takes you three years to raise $600 and you still haven't raised it. That's poverty, isn't it? I went to India, they was itemizing me to me the projects they're trying to get accomplished. One of the main projects they wanted was a computer so they can stay in contact with the church. Because when we would write them, it would take, well, heaven knows how long for just the mail to get there. And I asked them, did you start raising money? They said, oh, yes. They showed me the monies and the funds and the books and whatnot. How far have you got? Oh, just a hundred and something dollars in American currency. And that's three years of raising, if not more. So I took the money out of my pocket. I asked them, where's the computer store? And I went and bought them what they needed and gave it to them. And I didn't call my finance secretary and tell her, well, you got to pay it back. I don't believe in that. If I do something for the church, it belongs to the church. No, I don't call my wife and ask her, you think it's all right for me to buy this to the church? She know the way her husband is. When it comes to the work of God, that's first and foremost. That's first and foremost. God, I got to do whatever I'm capable of doing in my lifetime. Whenever you're able to help, because it is written, the poor you have with you, how often? Amen. I go to blend in. I don't go to act like I'm above them. They take their shoes off to go inside of a place, I take mine off. They roll their sleeves up, I roll mine up. They throw their neckties off, I throw mine off. Feel better too. They don't have no suit on, I certainly, when I first went, I learned real quick. Went all the way down there, hot as it was, carrying a suit. <laughs> that was almost worse than one of my brothers. I don't want to call his name. But he went with me to the Mauritius Islands and to the African province of Rodriguez. <laughs> He's a good brother of mine and a good friend. He was all the way over there and all that dirt and sand and hard rocks with suede shoes. <laughs> he gonna get me later. <laughs> I said, man, what you think about? He said, oh, don't say nothing, Pastor. Don't say nothing. So he, 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 he wouldn't take the blame. He passed the buck. He said, my wife packed him. <laughs> I said, hot as it is? You got on suede shoes. He said, listen, pastor, you ain't got to keep saying that. You ain't got it. It was hot, too. And I'll be looking at him. Just look at his shoes. <laughs> but he learned. You go to places like India and Africa, don't worry about leather sole shoes. You got to be prepared. When I baptized in the African province of Rodriguez, we baptized about 26 on that trip. That water was so salty. When I took them, to, until when I came out the water, and it was so hot, I, I, had, I got in the back of a pickup truck. So they can drive me to one of the brothers' house so I can get out the wet clothes. But it was so hot. By the time we got in the truck to the house, I was half dry, and the salt was sitting up on my skin like sand. Then you can't get a shower like you want to. And you're just itching. <laughs> itching. And the brother that traveled with you looking at him just said, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> they, they tell you, I don't know how you do it. Then they say, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but I do hope that brothers, I do hope some of you plan on going with us, brothers, to India and next month. Wow, next month we'll be in India, God willing, and we do hope and pray to see you also 
uh, in Mobile, Alabama. The Youth Conference of 2008 is held in Mobile, Alabama this year. We want to go in Mobile and just wreck the city. Oh, yes, we want to wreck the city. Do a good job. A good job. I want to make the enemies cry out real loud. Cry out real loud because of the word of the Lord. And I tell folk, if you hate the church, don't waste your time and come there. Stay home where you're at. Because we're about salvation of people's souls. And as you can see, if you stay focused on what God wants you to do, you'll get a lot accomplished. If you don't stay focused, Satan can use people as nothing more than a mere distraction. Are you listening? Be back later on tonight. Yes, this is Tuesday. Yes, sir. Prayer. Yes, sir. Tonight. Yes, sir. I know some of you will be going back home. All right. But if you ain't going home, well, prayer begins 7 o'clock tonight. Yes, sir. And back again on Thursday. 7 o'clock prayer. Friday. 7 o'clock prayer. Sunday. 7 or rather Saturday. 7 o'clock prayer. The first week of every month prayers to go on every night yes, Lord. the first week of every month <laughs> prayer as I often encourage the people you want to create an atmosphere of prayer create an atmosphere of prayer that's very needed prayer will keep down a lot of unnecessary confusion and contention and childish ignorance First week of every month, prayer every night, 7 o'clock. Let us all stand. Brother Campbell will close us out with prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father God, we thank you and we ask you to help us and build us up, O oh God, each and every one of us, O oh God. Lord God, we thank you for the man, Lord God, that you have chosen in these days, Lord. Lord God, we thank you, O oh Almighty. Lord God, we thank you for what you have doing for us. We thank you, Lord God, for the word that went out tonight, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we're praying, Lord God, that everybody would examine themselves according to what was, what was preached in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, the blessing and all we ask in your name and the church say, Amen. Amen.